This is gonna be a game I need my phone for. Mind the boopy dee boop. So you all have sound. It's just the, uh, like the demo play, so you can kind of see what's going on before we actually, like, press a button. Ah, uh -uh, no spoiler for Demon Blast. Coolest move in the game. Okay, chat seems to be loaded up, and we are good to go. I've already kind of... Oh, I thought I had gone through the options and changed some controls and stuff, but apparently not. Why is... okay. Oh, when the fuck did that get swapped? Uh, I changed these controls already. What the hell? Yeah, these are fine. Yeah, okay, that's weird. I wonder when those got changed. Okay, well, hey. We'll just wait another minute or two for people to arrive, and then we will begin. Make sure the audio is coming through. Audio is coming through. All right. I love the music in this game, too. It's got an amazing soundtrack. Well, not amazing, but some really good ones in here. Oh, and even though there's a continue option here, obviously. Hey, Drac, welcome, welcome. Hey, thanks for the resub. He says, anniversary time, happy holidays, Shadow, much love. Much love to you too, Drac, welcome, welcome. And that puts you at 10 months. Gosh darn. You know, I find it kind of interesting that, um... I finally accepted the affiliate application thing in February, and February is apparently the anniversary month of my channel, <laughs> so that kind of just works out pretty well, you know what I mean? Uh, I think the audio is good on this. As always, let me know if it's, you know, too loud or too quiet on either me or the game. I think the game could probably stand to go up a little bit, but that's fine. We'll leave it as it is for now. Uh, another quick aside about this game before we launch into it. Um, you can pick between male and female. As far as I'm concerned, female is the only option. Uh, picking the male option is heresy, and so I have literally never done one on a single playthrough. But this game does kind of operate off of um, the character, like the NPC character who you interact with the most. That's the ending you get. And uh, the endings do change if you're male or female. So, you know, maybe once we've gone through, we've got all the ending, like, the, the major endings and all the, like, secret endings, which usually involve, like, New Game Plus kind of stuff. 
maybe we can go through and blitz just like some of the um the character specific endings. Soul Nomad? Curious. I will be subbed till one of us dies or Twitch has a fallout. Hell yeah! Mm, definitely appreciate that. Yeah, Soul Nomad, it's one of my favorite games of all time. Like, I love this game. I'm a little disappointed that the remaster or the re-release, which we are playing, this is a PC port that came out this year. Uh, they didn't really change anything. They just kind of updated a bit of the graphics and uh, like made it work on PC. So a little disappointed. Or I really screwed up my business and end up having no moolah. Yeah, that would be that would be an outcome we don't want. Let's go. Anyways, let's launch into it. Oh, and I can't skip this opening cutscene, and we have to watch it literally every time, so get used to it for multiple playthroughs. The continent of Predesto. It is important info, though. The grueling war had finally ended, and one man had unified the land. Lord Median. Lord Median the Conqueror. Oh, I'm sorry, Lord Median the Though Conqueror! Man, his heroism swept across the world. I loved the Shining Force series. Oh, dude, I um, I played Shining Force Resurrection the of the Dark Omnis Dragon Empire on GBA. Only one I've really played, but I did really like that game. I'll probably tackle them on the channel at some point here. Like, the Lord whole series. Median and his son passed away. Predesto returned to a state of bloody war. Yay, bloody war! Uh, I think that was 545 TA? I don't know what the TA stands for either. It was then that a clarion vesper rang throughout the halls of history. Median's daughter, Lena, had come into her own and become a true leader. Good old lady Lena. Neighboring countries formed treaties, and for a moment, the world knew peace. Yeah, the best I can do for this one in the future is, like, speed it up, but even then. 600 TA. But then, the world was darkened by a single malign shadow, and its cruel heralds. Good old Gig! Best character in the game! The violent echoes of I love Gig. And murder shattered the land. Yeah, don't mind that. He does that the when he's bored. alliances were pushed to their limits by the merciless creatures. But human as they were, they fell victim to weakness and temptation. Some cowered and fled, while others pledged allegiance to the beasts. Lena rallied her few remaining comrades for a final confrontation. The venerable warrior queen sacrificed her life to banish the shadow. Good old regal sacrifice. They were both consumed, and the three behemoths were silent. Oh, I forgot to get myself a new drink before I started the stream. Your time in this tale has come. Hi, person who I know, but I won't spoil. Which gender would you like to be? I prefer the feminine because female is the canon choice in this game, and I refuse and to hear what otherwise. The world call you by? In the, the one time um, this game has ever been referenced in another NIS game, because it's basically one of the ones that never gets brought up again, uh, female Reva, Reva's the main character's default name, as you'll see, uh, female Reva is the one that shows up, so like, like I say, I consider that to be completely canon. Anyways, uh, I also have another tradition, and I always call her... Sarah. And so we shall be sticking with that tradition today. Boop. The. Boop. A truly noble name for such a hero. Thanks. This world give you our blessing, no matter what path you choose. Huh. Go. May happiness and good tidings follow you wherever you roam. Yeah, so we obviously aren't doing it the first time, or even our second or third playthrough, but this game has a demon path. <laughs> it's like all 16 missions. The year is 800 TA, 200 years have passed since all that good shit we saw about in the tutorial. Okay, then be completely evil? Oh, we will. And trust me, when you get to the demon path, 
Your jaw's gonna drop, cause it's just pure fucking evil and darkness, like holy shit. And that's Danette, childhood best friend. Oh, one last disclaimer too before we get too much further. Um, this game was made in 2001, and sometimes the language in it is kind of not politically correct. Um, retarded gets said a few times. Like, a few times. I don't think there's really anything else that you have to, like, watch for. There's no, like, racial shit, but... <laughs> yeah, some of the language in this game, especially by Gig, is a little off the rails, so be aware. Drax says, uh, then here's where they got that, uh, the idea for Fable. Honestly, could be. Uh, okay. I think I'll bump up the, vo uh, the voice volume once we get access to a menu again. Ah, well, Twitch, Twitch don't mind, don't mind. Twitch don't mind, I don't mind, exactly. And it's still an amazing game, and like I say, it's from an earlier time. We can't really judge, but just be aware of that if that is something that triggers you to whoever is watching this going forward. So, you know. CYOA, you know what I mean? Maybe, uh, some of the devs from this worked on it? Oh, probably not. Different ends of the world. Fable was, uh, Western, and this is very Eastern. It's NIS, right? Disgaea and all that? These are some very specific guesses that are extremely far apart. And apparently it's our 2327th session. You got it, girl. Oh, yeah, um, one thing that, uh, might catch you a little off guard is that there are different races in this world, like, different species of people, and, uh, you know, they're not, like, not brought up, it's just so that you know, so that you're not surprised, there's, uh, the Seps, S-E-P-P, -P, which are basically cow people, Danette is one of them, you can see the little horns and the cowbell, uh, she's a cowgirl, literally. I, I don't ask me about udders, man, because I don't know. Uh, then we have the red flanks, which are like giant um, minotaur people. Uh, then we have the nerids, which are like nerids, pretty self-explanatory. Um, then we have the Fuck, I don't remember what they're called, but they're basically like like harpy people. And then we have, uh, cherubs, which are literally, like, little angelic cherub things. Oh, and then drakens, which are, like, lizard mage people. Those are the major races that I'm aware of. Um, there's, of course, some, like, half-monster kind of races, but, like, you know how it goes. Anyways. You better give me all you got, or else I'll make you pay. Quick little tutorial battle. So there's always going to be a victory condition and a defeat condition. I mean, unless it says none, like I say. It's time to practice, so listen carefully, okay? Uh, I could skip this, but it's, it's fine. Okay, let's get started. Your victory condition for this battle is enemy or ally defeated. So when either you or me lose, it's over. Here's our turn order. First, the order in which we'll take our turns is right here. You can see your face here, so that means it's your turn. The combat in this game is a little different, and you'll see what I mean once we have Gig and we can start summoning people. You'll see a check symbol over the character's head when it's their turn to act. And the first thing you want to do is move and get in range to attack me. Okay, how do I zoom out again? I didn't do that, by the way. You'll still get a chance to take action even after you move, but for now, just select End Turn. Don't tell me what to do! Once you select End Turn, it's my turn. You can see the turn order if you look at the faces lined up here. You, you said that. I'm not doing this, by the way. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. 
Honestly, there's a lot of really weird game mechanics here. Um, like with the potential, um, the stamina is weird. If you're at full stamina, you don't do as much damage, but you also don't take as much. There's a lot of mechanics in this game that I'll probably like mention as we go, but I'm not gonna like do all the tutorials. Some of them are really tedious. Now try performing an attack on me. Later on, you'll be able to pick from attack, skill, and combo, but right now you can only attack. There's also, um, the whole way rooms work, I've never seen that done in any other game, so it's pretty unique. Whenever there's an attack, regardless of who instigates it, uh, the enemy always has a chance to counterattack unless uh, the range is different or, or uh, like specific factors are in play. I'm going to DM you, DM you about the workings of being a Twitch player with subs. I'm curious if I ever get a setup to do it. I don't know, honestly, with my business at all. Okay. Yeah, feel free. I know I also need to, like, give you guys some more emotes, because Twitch just gave everyone, like, six tier one emote slots, and I haven't put any new ones in there. Uh, that's something I intend to start tackling in the new year. Is making, uh, more sub incentives and stuff like that. And take this seriously, okay? If you're unsure about something, open the menu with the shift button and select help. Yeah, you got it, girl. Alright, can we do this for real? Yeah. Yeah, you gonna die. Oh, by the way, that commence battle. Yeah, that's a system voice that I... I, uh, manually turned on because it amuses me. I love those. No, no, okay. Um... I might have to tweak some of these controls, too. How do I... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. How do I... Zoom out? No. Oh, I just ended my turn. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. We'll still kick her ass. Especially because she only does one hit and I do two. Okay, I don't want to just end my turn immediately. How do I... Okay, here we go. Many was apparently shift. Burn, switch window, page back. Oh, camera zoom, I made tilde. Yeah, let's change that. Um, F? Sure. Cool. And... Okay. Uh, we're gonna- now, we're gonna move a bit more, which we don't need to do because it's not like, uh, positioning matters when it comes to... Um... Whatchamacallit, like a back attack or anything, but we want to wear out our stamina a little bit more because, like I say, having less stamina is actually a good thing. As you see, we now did a little bit more damage than we did last time. So is she. She's gonna do like 9 or 10? Yeah. Uh, especially early on in this game, it's we're gonna be missing our attacks a lot. It's kinda got the Morrowind logic of it. Oh, so you're gonna see a lot of those. A lot of zeros. Oh shit, she's doing a special attack on me. I might die. It doesn't really matter if we win or lose this battle, but she might actually get a kill here. Uh, you can also- oh no, she does shit for damage. You also, uh, can't do special attacks like this unless you've, uh, lost a bit of stamina. How much did that hurt me? <laughs> that did, like, nothing! Uh, even if I have the stamina loss, I'm not gonna be able to do a special attack here, cause she's gonna die from my next hit. Oh, I don't even have any special attacks in luck. Yeah, just die. DIE FOR ME, Jeanette! Thank you. Battle results. Oh yeah, uh, these you get more rewards if you take less damage or lose people. 
um, get more kills, and then, like, just do it quickly. You know what I mean? I don't really worry too much about those. Uh, nice thing about future playthroughs is you can skip most cutscenes. But, like, obviously we're not doing that right now. Uh, Drax says, your standard attack did more than her special attack? Yeah, get fucking dunked on, Danette. Stupid cowgirl. <laughs> I'd say it is. Told me. me to take it seriously, dog. No, thanks, childhood friend. Another earthquake. There's been a lot lately. Alright, uh, this is how they kind of handle villages and shit. So we have several people we can talk to. The green exclamation mark here means that going here will cause a cutscene. If we instead see a skull, uh, that means that going there will cause a battle. Once we get access to Gig Edicts, which we don't right now, um, I can also, like, take certain actions against people if I want, but for now we're just gonna talk to everyone. Old Crone Dre. Dry. Never forget what Layla did for you. These days, it's tough to find someone like her who will raise a bunch of orphans all on her own. If it weren't for her, you would have been kidnapped or carried off by a bunch of dingoes or something. Or maybe the World Eater would have come along and gobbled you up. So yeah, exposition, we are orphans. What's going on? Are you gonna help me? Did Lady Lena call you? Babies are like rare jewels. Oh, this is a woman, actually. There are fewer of them being born every year, so we have to take care of them. And I only know that because of something from the demon path. Uh, you only really see these guys, like, on screen a few times in the game. <laughs> Dingoes, right? And besides that, I've been seeing less and less men around, too. It's understandable that the men would want to leave and see new places, rather than stick around here. But that runs the risk of revealing the secret of our village. I don't want a bunch of strangers showing up here. <laughs> Couldn't help it. All good. This game has weird references. Also, I don't know what the fuck a hot pot is, and I'm hoping one of you will be able to help me figure this shit out. That's all I'm gonna say. Because hot pods have inconsistent properties. And if the World Eaters ever found us, that would be the end of everything. Also, I love fighting Goku. Because Saiyans are sort of, kind of, not really, but also kind of in this game. This, this game is weird, I'm just gonna flat out tell you. Oh, Gadius? He's fine. He loves his unborn child, and he's doing his best at work. Hamats of the Dark. I was praying to some old friends. There's memorials all over for the other villages. It's tough keeping them clean. And that's easy, it's an ancient hot pocket. Just wait, Drac. Just you wait. They are both crunchy, grow on, um, grow on plants, so, like, it's clearly a fruit of some kind, but it's described to be meaty? I don't, I, like, I honestly, I have played this game probably about 20 to 30 times, no joke, and I still couldn't tell you what the fuck a hot pot is. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. If only these old eyes could see the light again, I'd teach you proper. I had so much more to teach my young Danette. An earthquake! They just keep coming. It's a sign of the end times. Perhaps the World Eaters are on the loose. We must pray to the wind and sky. Buff Veteran Ben, he's a red flank. Hmm. Looks like you're ready for battle. There's nothing left for us old red flanks to teach you now. That's it, seriously. Hot Pockets, really, what are they made out of? I mean, fair enough. I've been serving Lady Lena for 180 years now, and she hasn't changed one bit in all that time. She's lived as a human for over 200 years, you know. 
I think everyone is destined to live a certain amount of time. She will live just long enough to finish her mission. Cool tough guy Vaughn. Red flanks can easily live for 200 years, but I passed that mark long ago. From now on, you must protect Lady Lena. As you know, Lena must enter a long period of rest, and we must protect her. That's the purpose of this village. Many have left the village in search of a new life, but we must still keep the secret of our village safe. The outside world is overflowing with danger, even now. You must watch over her until her time comes once again. And this is one of those, like, harpy people I mentioned. Winged Marlene. Danette's just the same as she's always been. Does she call you by name yet? You'd think she'd learn after ten years living here, but she still only remembers Lady Lena's name. I'm worried about her. Her memory is just awful. I told her to keep a diary, but I think she already forgot. Pretty much. Sorry, you can't leave. I know how badly you want to see the outside world, but I can't let you endanger the village. We're invisible to the outside world, but if someone saw you just appear out of thin air, we'd be in trouble. If they found us, we could end up like all the other villages. I'm here to keep that from happening. Sorry! Alright, story time. There she is, Lady Lena. It's been ten long years since I brought you here. Lena the Venerable. Today, I shall grant you the weapons you will need to watch over our home. I was hoping when they, um, when they ported this game, that they would give us, like, a bit of extra content, maybe an extra map or two. But, uh, it does seem to be just a straight port, with just some graphical touch-ups, which, I mean, is fine. It's nice to have it on PC, but... This is, like, my favorite NIS game, and I do wish it got as much love as some of the others did. You're finally gonna make us real town guardians? That's correct. I get the better end of the deal, you personally. You have the power to protect those who cannot protect themselves. First off, look at this assortment of weapons. They all look pretty cool. You must select the weapon best suited to your ability. Personally, I want either the spear, the bow, or the one that uh, Lena or that Danette ends up taking. I love Danette, even if she is a bit of an idiot. Lady Lena, I choose the sickle sword. Basically, double daggers. <laughs> This is called the Whisper of Tranquility. So long as you carry this, you will bring nothing but good to the world. And a you bit of dumbassedness. Alright, my turn, my turn! I want a weapon! Hey, where's my assortment? And for you, I have only this. Here we go. We got to choose. Here we go. Take the sword. Fuck yeah. Here he is. Man of the hour. Gig has three songs that are like his songs. Uh, this one is called Bad Boys. Uh, then we have Desperado and uh, Rockin' Rocks. And Rockin' Rocks is one of my favorite songs from a video game ever. We only hear it a few times and oh, it just hits right. <laughs> sort of soft around the edges, but it's definitely got potential. 200 years. 200 years. I've been, I've been waiting, waiting for this years. moment. Indeed. It has been many years, Gig. I, too, have long awaited this day. Listen to the hate in her voice. Lady Lena? What is this? What's going on with that sword? 
Two hundred years ago, I gazed into a black shadow. It gazed back. It threatened to destroy everything. But I hunted it down, and this sword was the trap. And that is a crimson tear. Extremely important MacGuffins of the series. This jewel is called the Crimson Tear. I say series, I mean the game, you know what I mean. The fusion begins. Fuck me up, fam! There he is! Ah, it's damn good to be back. I can't wait to break in my new body. Who are you? Me? Oh, just the most hardcore, hardcore ass kicker to ever, ever walk the planet, planet is all. The destroyer of everything. The, the commander of the world eaters. But hell, you can just, just call me Gig. Gig. Why were you in that sword? Oh, that. Well, thanks to that old wench, I had to abandon my body 200 years ago. I killed her first, of course. But that tricky witch must have had another soul up her sleeve. Or Don't you hate it when you kill someone and they just say no and, like, keep living? She caught me off guard and almost killed me for good. But I stole some of her juice jumped into that sword. I never figured out why she kept the sword around. But I stayed there, waiting for my chance to get out. I've been waiting for 200 years. But now I've got you. A nice, young, healthy set of limbs. All my body for Lord Gig. <laughs> uh, what are you planning to do? I haven't even done anything yet, and I already feel right at home. Hang on. Yeah, okay, good. Still no leg. What? You still don't get it? I'm taking over your body, stupid. Y you mean you're going to kill me? Kill you? <laughs> nah, that'd be too easy. What'll happen is your soul will just disappear. disappear. And then I can just beat this meat puppet to hell till I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love now, Gig. Give me dominion over your body. So this choice doesn't matter. Uh, I can say yes, I can say no. It doesn't matter here. So I'm just gonna say no because I mean, like, obviously. Damn it. I knew you'd be a pain in the ass. Whatever, it doesn't matter. If I would have said yes, gonna be easy. Uh, he would have said, "Ah, oh, I appreciate the spirit, but it's not gonna be that easy," or something like that. Okay. Here's the thing. We have to make a deal so I can use your body. Now that you've signed over your I love making deals so that strange men can use my body. <laughs> that should keep you happy for a while, but maybe you're really greedy. Maybe you'll need even more power. That's when you give me a call. So basically he's offering a slippery slope. I give you some of my power for free. It's like a little taste test. And if you need more or you want more, it's there. But <laughs> there's a prize. I can lend you all the powers of a See? god. For a price. The more of my power you use, the more control I gain over your body. Gameplay-wise, this means literally nothing. Um, but story-wise, there's a few very specific moments where you can give up control. Well, you'll see. You use your power to get what you want. And I come a little closer to my own goals. Ba, 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 you scratch my ba, back, ba, ba, I crush ba, ba. yours. Pretty you scratch hard. my back, I crush yours. I don't need that kind of power. <laughs> Fine, if you say so. But if you change your mind, you know where to find me. I'll be waiting, my little soulmate. Love it. Hey, you're awake. Are you okay? Tell me, how do you feel? What happened just now? It appears you and Gig have become one. It was he who nearly destroyed our land. He was the leader of the World Eaters. Or rather, they were his puppets. His powers are unfathomable. We have been searching many years for someone who could contain the power of Gig. 
Of all the children to pass through this village, you will be the only one. And it's because I'm special? My mommy said I'm special. I waited ten long years for your mind and body to mature. You were told this village was meant to hide us from the world. But no, it's our last defense against the world eaters. In years past, villages like ours existed all over the world. But over the years, they have all been destroyed one by one. Almost systematically, you could we say. We are the only ones left. This is why we have no outside contact, and why you are forbidden from leaving the village. You mean everyone? That's correct. All the villages were either sieged and killed slowly, or outright annihilated. Considering the scale of these attacks, it must be the work of the world eaters. Those dastardly yes, fiends! Those dark beasts who have been silent for so long now gather their strength once more. Have you not heard the weeping of the world? Open your mind and listen closely. You will hear the crumbling of our civilization. Yeah, this world's kind of on the if fast track to destruction. The land will continue to weaken, and eventually all will perish. I wonder why, though. To change the fate unfolding before us, we need a truly singular power. This is the power of Gid that I have entrusted to you. With it, you must rein in the terrible world eaters. It's up to you to dismantle these foul relics of a long dead world and breathe new life into our own land. Man, that is a lot of responsibility. What I ask of you? Now... Interesting. Now, we will go and inform the others of what must be done. Interesting. That was the spot where the demon situation. path was supposed to be pickable. And uh, going the demon path for your first playthrough is an extremely bad idea because the enemies are a lot stronger. Uh, that's why, you know, I usually do it on, like, my third or my fourth. Uh, yeah, no, there normally is more than one option there, Drac. Normally, um, there's an option with a, um, a dot 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 and a red X. And if you hit that, um, it goes, there is no turning back from this decision. It's a very important decision. Do you, are you sure you want to hit it? And then you can say yes or no. Um, but what's interesting to me is that it wasn't there. And I recently did a playthrough of the PS2 version on an emulator. Like, I own the physical copy, but I don't own my PS2, so I just used an emulator. So it was a fresh, virginal copy, had no save data on it. And the option was there. So I'm wondering... Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe they did actually tweak a few things. Like, outside of just the graphics in this version. Um, maybe they made it... Because, I mean, I'm sure that would be very frustrating if you picked that option on your first playthrough without knowing that it was the Demon Path. Because, um, like I say, it's really, it's really hard if it's your first playthrough. Like, it's really hard. They don't fuck around. You're meant to have stuff you get from beating the game. Um, so yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm not mad. Like I say, we, we wouldn't have picked that this time anyways. But I'm really curious. Maybe it's because I didn't select the other option. Like, when I said the two didn't matter. But, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, we're gonna continue. But, I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for, like, further tweaks like this that they might have done. Interesting. Finally. The day we have prayed for has come. Gig's power oh, yeah, you can released. see um, the red flanks. Uh, that's what, uh, they're, you know, Vaughn and whoever. That's another Sep. That's a male Sep. Um, female Sep, Danette. Uh, that's one of those, like, harpy people I mentioned. This could uh, not have happened you won't see the cherubs until one loyalty. very specific village. And now we... Dennett. Why did you keep this a secret from us? It seems like mm -hmm. everyone besides us already knew about this. That's just mean. And that sword. Why couldn't I have that power? 
Yeah, I don't think you do well with gig in your body, Danette. You're also a dumbass, hon! Like, I love you, but you're not to be trusted with decisions. Yes. Yes. Yes, that is exactly it. Good job. Okay. Yeah, see that. Don't go saying such awful things about yourself. Yeah, you thought my voices for the Red Flakes were silly! Bitch, I've heard their voice acting! <laughs> we were all in the same boat as you once. This one is Ben. This one would be Vaughn. Until my 17th birthday either. But Lady Lena sees something in this child that's different from the rest of us. And no, I don't know what this crystal in the background is, and no, it's never brought up. You shouldn't say such hurtful things. Aesthetics. In Lena's presence. Remember your place, child. Yes, sir. I am truly sorry for lying, Dinnett. But you must understand, I never wanted to deceive you like this. I know that. I mean, I guess. It's not that I don't trust you. Oh yeah, and this is the lady who had the child, so I'm like, oh shit, right, this is this is a lady, not a guy speaking. Caretaker, dry, or whoever. Now, everyone, heed me. From now on, we must do more than merely guard our solitary village. We must remember the faces of the fallen and help this brave child stand against the tyranny of the behemoths. Consider each of you what your role shall be in the coming war. Cannon fodder and uh, useless advice. Go now and think on this. Dismissed. Yeah, think about how you're going to be cannon fodder and give useless advice. I'm very, I'm very hard on the NPCs in this game, but I love them all very dearly. Come see me later in private. Uh, and he, uh, several times throughout the game, we're gonna have, like, you can see that all three of these will give a cutscene. Uh, you pick one. And some of them, um, like, usually, like, Danette, for example. If we were going for the Danette ending, we would want to make sure we pick all the Danette cutscenes. Because the way that the, like, the character-specific endings work in this game is you have to pass a certain amount of points to get that ending. Otherwise, you do basically just get the gig ending and the gig ending is in my opinion like the canon one um and using that character in your squad gives you points like every time you do a special attack together because there's like you'll see what i mean or picking their choice and stuff like this i could do the cemetery i'm not doing Danette for obvious reasons i could do the cemetery but i mean come on Hot damn! There's a hot springs here! It looks nice and toasty. Huh? Hey, what's the deal? You're not gonna take off your clothes? Um, aren't you a guy? <laughs> Don't be an idiot! I really couldn't care less about your equipment, okay? Well, I care. Ugh, what a pain. If it's really that big a deal, just close your eyes. I can only see and hear what you see and hear. Does that mean you can feel? Well, duh. You and I are one mind, one body, forever. I get to experience anything and everything you do, kid. Anyway, it's too late to say no now. We're in it together from here on out, for better or worse. So you may as well just give up. Hell, try and kill yourself if you want. I don't care. You mean... Even in the bathroom? If it really bugs you. I guess you can just hold it in for the rest of your life. <laughs> Lady Lena, I sort of hate you. Yeah, I, uh, I refuse to pick any other choice in that three set of choice, because that scene is fucking hilarious. Can't change my mind. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep. Suck to have someone of the opposite gender living inside your body. Nah, they're soulmates, though. Here are the three world eaters. This is Raksha. Um, Thuris over here and Fane in the middle. Not, not that it matters right now. Rivers of blood! Mountains of flesh! 
A glorious world of pain! Feeble humans, crushed like the insects that they are! What can I say? I have a bit of a weakness for unrepentant edgelords. Like, that's all Gig is. He's just a fucking giant edgelord with no shame, and I, I dig. My lovely pets seem to be enjoying themselves. What useless relic shall I have them destroy next? Ah, that castle. All right, Vane. Do your worst. Vane is the most powerful, like, by far. She's like level 3000 or something. Thurus can suck a dick. Fucking hate Thurus. Raksha's cool. I'm down with Raksha. <laughs> Shattered to its very foundations! Come on, you little shits! Are none of you man enough to stand up to me? Then put your heads between your legs while I cut you down! One by one! Aha! Finally, someone steps up. You numbnuts better not waste my time. Good times. Dream. Is that what happened 200 years ago? Oh, hey kid. You saw that, huh? I didn't mean to. It's because we're joined. Like I said, that friggin' sucks. Listen, next time, don't look. Can't tell me what to do. Alright, talk and talk some more. Don't you be lazy. Lazy people die first. Humans learned the face of evil during a long period of darkness. Deceit, betrayal, and murder. You have to be careful. Don't think the world will show you any mercy. This is all for your own good. Now take this with you. Ooh. I think that's pretty shit, despite the name. Don't be reckless, understand? I'll take a look in a bit, though. Miss Lena is sleeping. I'm sure you know better than to disturb her. She's been sleeping a lot lately. I hope she's okay. And what about you? Are you okay? I'm sorry you've had such responsibility heaped on you. I wish I could come with you. But I have Miss Lena and my baby to look after. But I'll be praying for you. I want you to save the world, not just for my child, but for everyone. Here, this is from Miss Lena. Please take it with you. Hold hands is circumstantially useful. There's a lot of really weird things you can do in this game, like, mechanically, uh, that if you, like, have the mind to do it, you can set up some fucking crazy shit. I'm looking forward to getting to show some of it off to you guys. Listen, you better not die. You have to come back to us. I was praying to some old friends. I prayed for them to protect you during your travels. So you're really going, huh? I'll always see you as a little child. But it's finally time, isn't it? Come here. Let a blind old man hold you one more time. Ah, you've grown so much. Let's see here. You're a human, right? And Lady Lena is human too. Dinette? Well, she's a sap. Just like Gadius, Nye, Dre, and me. Oh, he's not a dragon. I totally thought he was a dragon. That's why I was giving him the lizard's... Whatever, he keeps it. There are just as many Seps as humans. Ben and Vaughn are the resonant red flanks. Seps and red flanks may be related, but they're as different as night and day. And then there's Marlene the Whirlwind. Yeah, that's what they're called, Whirlwinds. She's got wings to fly high, and there are so many others. Oh, I'm so sorry. I must be boring you to tears. It's just how I cope with things. You should stop off in Aztec to rest. You know, that huge city in the south. Gather as much info as you can. Plot twist, she isn't sleeping. Hey, Kaiser knows what's up. We've gained some knowledge about the World Eaters, but there is much yet to be learned. That must be what attacked the other village. We need to find out where- we need to find out where to find the creatures. That was awkward. Keep your ear to the ground and you should be able to track down the murderous behemoths. We're all counting on you. You're finally starting to grow into yourself. I suppose that means I have to work harder to keep up. This enormous power you've been given. It must be quite a challenge to handle. 
Do you have any questions? Hey, kid! I can teach you whatever you need to know. You don't need advice from this old fart. Huh? You don't have any questions. None at all? Come on, ask me anything! Oh, I never told you. Ten years ago, right about when you came to us, an island was destroyed. It was my home. I flew right there when I heard. I was absolutely devastated. There was nothing left. Nothing. Everyone says one of the World Eaters did it, but there was no trace of them. It just disappeared one night. A whole island wiped off the planet. Only those behemoths could do something so awful. I have nothing but hatred for them. But Lady Lena forbade me from going after them. She says my hatred would only get me killed. I envy you. Give him hell for me, okay? You got a girl. Oh, you're leaving now. I've said this before, but let me remind you. The World Eaters are like massive war machines, and there's three of them. The closest is the one in Raid. As I'm sure you know, Raid is just south of the village. Well, anyway, good luck. Once you leave here, you may as well pretend it doesn't exist. For the sake of Lady Lena, we can't afford for our home to be discovered. But if you manage to succeed, feel free to stop back and tell us about it. Get lost until you succeed. Hey, cool. Wait. Um, I'm sorry about yesterday. I overreacted a little bit, okay? But everything just happened so fast. I didn't know how to react. Come on, forgive me, okay? Let me come with you. No. Oh, how sickeningly sincere. What do you say, old buddy, old pal? Prepare for a technique slash word that is um easily abusable with context. So you're not mad at me? Awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what perfect timing. Here, let's do a little experiment and I'll show you the power of dominion. Dominion. The whole thing is really pretty simple. Hell. You probably don't even need my help for this. Basically, you can dominate someone once they consent. Since this one's already agreed, just use dominate. <laughs> Happy Ozen noises. Fine, let's dominate Danette. What the hell was that? Oh, sorry. This is uh this song's called Bad Boys. The other gig song that played when he appeared, that was Desperado. We still haven't heard rock and rocks yet. This mannequin represents the girl you just dominated. You can now place it in a room that you control. And just like that, you control her. You can call her out and make her take a beating for you anytime, anywhere. Wish I could pause this, but live is live. Be back as soon as I can be? No ish. Go ahead and explain it to her, would you? I still can't control this sack of fat enough to make it talk. You explain the idea of dominion to Danette. I guess it makes sense. I wondered what the heck Lady Lena was talking about, so this is what she meant. Hey, if you ever abuse me, <laughs> so help me God, you will regret it. This is one of those games, eh? <laughs> World map, finally. Okay, before you throw yourself into battle, you gotta make sure you're ready. So, kid, you need me to explain room design and squad formation? Alright, I'm gonna actually go take a quick uh, moment just to go grab some water. Um, I guess just you guys decide if you want to watch the tutorial explain how this works, or just have me explain it as we go, because I definitely do not need the tutorial. I'll be right back.
and back. Kaizu says tutorial's fine. All right, sure. Even though I'm totally awesome and powerful, it doesn't mean anything if you don't form squads. So listen up. First, let's try putting that Sceptard we just dominated into a squad. Press the shift button to open the menu and then select a range. Oh, I guess I should explain some other stuff while I'm at it. You see those symbols like that? That symbol tells you what happens if you use that command or option. For example, this means move, this means talk, and this means arrange squad. There's three especially important icons. This means an event. This means a battle. And this... Oh, and, and? Oh, guys, this was a remaster, a re-release. You're supposed to catch the typos. And, and means prepare for a bad ending. Selecting something with this or this will advance the story like normal. If you select this, there's no going back, so make sure you save before you do it. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Time to arrange your new squad. Oh, it's doing this, by the way. This is the room menu. We are going to be seeing a lot of this screen. Especially when we're trying to get better rooms, because a lot of it's random. <laughs> I bet you're surprised. This is an alternate dimension. I can make them just by snapping my fingers. This is where you create rooms to place your mannequins in. This is what I mean when I talk about arranging. But that stupid cow isn't going to be nearly enough to kick some real ass. So let's get some more units. Select the restock option. Again, it's doing this. I have no control. Now you just have to pick what kind of unit you want and hit buy. You can buy whatever you want, but each purchase costs gig points. No gig points, no unit. Get it? Nothing's free. For now, I'll set you up with a couple of my personal favorites. You can buy more of your own later on. You receive mannequins for swordsman, pyromage, and cleric. I have a very specific room layout that I like. Um, also, it'll probably mention this in more detail later, but you see how these four squares here are blowing? Or er, blowing. Glowing? Technically, it's possible to have a nine uh, tile squad here, but uh, you don't get access to more until you get through the game. Like, we won't have access to a full squad of nine until we've completed our first playthrough. Like, flat out. We just won't. We might get it, like, right before the final battle, but that's it. It's fine. We also don't need it, but, like, we will be constantly upgrading and changing our rooms and adding more rooms as we go. Each room is one squad, and you can have a total of up to nine rooms, so nine squads. I only ever use, like... I mean, I tend to fill them, but you only ever need, like, one to three max. Next, let's position the units you just got. All you gotta do is choose to design the room. You can choose between front, middle, and rear. Their position determines their attack, so choose wisely. A, squad leaders is, a squad's leader is by far its most important member. If the leader falls in battle, the squad will retreat from battle, even if all the other units are unharmed. Yep. It's not a bad idea to put your leader in the rear, away from enemy attacks. By the way, the leader's stats go up as you add more units to the room. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of the mechanics of this game that I don't really understand the why of. I only know that doing X will make Y happen, I just don't know why it happened, you know what I mean? A lot of math and shit. But keep in mind that you, as the noble hero, must always be the leader of your own squad. So you're sort of stuck there. But if you're really dumb or lazy, you can just use auto setup to easily assign units based on different traits, which we will never use. Okay, that's about it for now, I'm sick of talking anyway. And there's obviously more to it than that, but we will figure shit out as we go. Alright, Danette will not be in my squad, simply because... Um... I don't want to influence the ending. But for us, we're always going to be in the front row. Because as you see here, if we're in the front, we do a quick slash to just whoever is in the front of the enemy. If we're in the middle or the back, we do do a ranged target. But it's just better to have them in the front. Uh, our swordsman here, I don't really like this unit too much, so I don't use it. We will be buying a different one once we get some gig points to spend. Uh, they do a slash in the front, 
they throw a rock in the middle, and they literally can't do anything in the back, so you never want to put them in the back. I like to keep my Pyromages in the back, because then they do a attack that hits an entire row. If you put them in the middle, they just have a stronger single target, but whatever. You also never want them in the front. And finally for this squad, uh, your Cleric, you're always going to want in the back, because they heal everyone. If you put them in the middle, they only heal one person, and why are you making your Cleric attack in melee? This, is, this ain't D&D, bro. Begin.
begins. This.
Oh. Okay, well, no, that was not deliberate. I disabled my mic for a moment to go do something, but I think I hit a hot key, so I disabled it in Streamlabs. Usually, I just use the mute button on my mic. Thank you for that, Kaiser. It, uh, I do not know unless someone tells me. Yeah, no, that was not meant to be deliberate there for more than a moment. Um, I was just saying that as we as we hire units here, and I'm not really worried about the names here, you can do randomized stuff. Everyone that's in my squad gets custom names, but I'm not worried about that for now because they're all going to be replaced shortly. Um, what else was I saying? Oh yeah, and you can, uh, as you hire them, you can level them up, up to the main characters. Oh, for the whole battle. Yeah, that wasn't intentional. You probably didn't even hear me respond to your thing about healers. That's annoying, but yes, definitely was not intentional. I've been quite chatty, in fact, the whole time. Yeah, I don't know, I can't remember what my... It's the tilde key. It's the tilde key. The tilde key is apparently my hotkey in Streamlabs to mute the mic. Because I had to put it on something, and I thought that that would not be hit. Talking to yourself much? Yeah, pretty much. I gotta remember that. Okay. Um, I haven't been silent for the whole stream, though, right? It was just that last battle. Uh, yeah, anyways, we're just gonna get out of here. Set. You, 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 you. Yeah, probably slightly before too. For the whole stream or just the battle? No, you guys have been responding to me for the whole stream, so it was just the battle. Yeah, okay. I get it, I get it. And then, did he, did they give us units for, no, okay. We just have that extra pyre mage. Oh, I guess I didn't need to hire. Oh, right, I have two Vivians. Right, right, one was a bad Vivian. Okay, that was a bad Vivian. Uh, prepare to see someone literally die. Goodbye. Anyways, now we should get units for Danette's squad. We will buy... Random name... Oh, random name... Lucian... Ossian! Sure, whatever. I literally don't give a shit. Level him up to level 2. And then... Two more Pyre Mages. Connie... No, no, no. Shadow, stop. Stop, stop doing things. Lisa, sure. And one more. Katrina. Oh, I don't have enough to level it up to level two. I shouldn't have deleted uh, the spare Vivian. That's fine, sure. You can have a level one. I literally do not care about you, that. Love you, girl. Don't care about you, girl. Cool. Let's pop a save. I'd pronounce that pair of letters as O rather than AW, but that's just me. I mean, I've seen a lot of Orions um, that are like A-U-R-I-O-N, so I'm like, oh yeah, that must be what that is. Wow, we've been going for an hour. It's because I've been reading everything and like rambling about shit. Uh, cutscene. I look forward to having the Saiyans that you get when you beat the game the first time. To Aztec? Aren't we gonna go beat up on that, you know, the world something? We have to get ready first. What? You're not chickening out, are you? Don't forget, Lena entrusted you with all that power. What, that old hag? Bullshit. It's my power, not hers. And it's not free either. <laughs> huh? Why are you 
you talking so strange? Oh, oh, she can now hear anyway, Gig. Listen, I made a promise, and we've always been taught that it's wrong to break a promise, right? Now, if that way goes to the city, then this way will take us straight to the enemy, right? So, let's just go this way, okay? Yep, let's just go walk right up to the thing that destroyed cities. That's that's a great idea. Like Aura, yeah. Oh, I missed what I said there. I went by too quick. Fine. I'll go by myself if I have to. I don't need your help. I'll just get all the glory myself. Good luck with that girl. Seriously, what a dumbass. How could one little girl ever hope to take down one of my world eaters? Huh? Hey kid, you're gonna go after all? I have to make sure she's okay. You don't have to worry about me. I can take care of myself. But if you really want to help, I guess I can't stop you from following me. Now, let's go find that whirly thingy. Honestly, is she always this idiotic? Yes. Your childhood must have been a real nightmare. And as you can see, the path that was there before is gone. It does that a lot. I am not doing a recon. I'm not spoiling it. World Eater, Northern Side. Yes, it's meant to be silent. There she is! There's Fane! So this is that... Thing? It's so... So... Big. For context, we're down about here. Like, she would rise up about this much on the screen if she was shown. hurts. I guess that was a tough walk. Hey, why do you keep muttering to yourself? I think your brain must be running on empty. Ironic. <laughs> She's one to talk, huh? Go ahead. I know you want to say it. No, that's not very nice. <laughs> Don't try to deny it. I know exactly how you feel. Believe me. Weird ornate sword adds looks like some malevolent god. Seems legit, pretty much. Fane is actually the nicest of all of them, even if she's the most powerful. Hey, looks like I can finally make my voice be heard. Hey, stupid cow! Don't go around calling me him. The name's Gig. How could you forget? She kind of forgets everything. You know, the totally indestructible, unbelievably cool guy that took over your friend's body. Remember? He's literally speaking through our mouth, by the way. Huh? So he has some limited yeah. control of us. So gag. <laughs> oh my Who god. Am I? Didn't you hear I love you, didn't that never change. At least you could have listened to that dried up crone you love so much. Gank? Gank. You gotta be kidding! I mean I've met some real nutbags in my life who can really take the cake. How dare you? I just have a little problem with names, okay? No, your problem is you're a retard. Mm-hmm. Someone's there. Please, look there. That is the world eater of Raid. It no longer stirs, but I believe it yearns for life. Can you kill it? It has a squad of warriors guarding it, so we can't even get close. Those men are incredibly powerful. We have no chance without a well-armed force of our own. Are you saying I can't handle it? Well, perhaps. If you were to regain your lost strength, that is. All in due time. Regardless, I expect much of you. Certainly, sir. 
In other news, we have reports that a certain woman is in hiding nearby. She hasn't attempted any major movements, but she appears to be searching for the Avatar. He's talking about Lena. I'm just gonna say that right I have now. I have contact on the inside, so I receive constant updates. If anything changes, I'll let you know immediately. Now, I don't actually know who that contact is, but I'm going to assume uh, it's, it's the blind interest guy that I gave the Draken voice. And act as soon as an opportunity presents itself. You there, with the sword! <laughs> Galahad. You too, Sep girl. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm really looking forward to showing you guys the demon path. Just watching everyone fall into insanity hey, is so I great. Think he wants to play. Hey, where'd those other guys go? They're gone. There he is, Mr. Huh? Galahad. Huh. Sure Chevalier Galahad. No matter. You're acting I love this guy's suspicious. voice actor. He Just gives him so much here? life. I don't know. Hey, you talking to us? Well, uh, <clears throat> we're here to take down that world thingy. <laughs> you mean the world eater? Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. J Just the two of you. You got it. It's just stupid. How rude. Where? I have no time for such lunacy. You, get rid of these miscreants. Oh, <gasps> miscreants, are we? Yes, sir. Hey, get your filthy hands off of me. They're literally nowhere near you, Donat. Sorry. I can't let you near that creature. I have no reason to believe you would stand any chance against it. I need you to leave now! Now, he says. <laughs> he wants to try and kick us out? Brainless fool. Hell, I'll barely break a sweat against this guy. A good chance to see how rusty I am, I guess. Time to show you what a real god can do. <laughs> hey kid, you need some advice? Okay, no, I'm skipping that one. I'm sorry, I am. I don't need your stinking advice about battle, son. Ooh, we are, uh, our room also gives us great faith. Oh, no, I don't want to end the turn. I don't like how E is end action. I'm probably going to want to change that. No, I want to... No, how do I do thing again? Here we go. Oh, our resistance goes up. That's nice. Are those shady people ultimately beneficial for the party? They seem to share a goal. There's a lot of... Um, I want to say factions, but also not really. Um, those two... Yes, we technically share a goal, but I guess disagree on the method? I guess would be a way to put it. Spoilers, of course, but... Oh, he's alone? Okay, he can, he can suicide himself on me. I don't give a shit. Also, um... The way your squad is positioned changes, like, your zone of influence. It doesn't really come up often, but if you saw I had to, like, when I moved over, my character had to go like that. That's because his zone of influence included right there. Like I say, there's a lot of, like, subtle mechanics that don't really get explained. Um, even in the tutorial I just skipped, I promise it, it briefly glosses by it. And there's a lot that doesn't get brought up. When I first played this game, uh, there was a lot that I kind of had to, like, figure out on my own. Which is fine, I don't mind that in games, but just be aware, I guess. Anyways, he's dead. Because he thought this was a good idea. Yeah. 
That was not a good idea. Did you did you not just witness the slaughter? No, oh, okay, okay. Who do you? I'm looking forward to replacing uh, that swordsman in our lineup with a brawler, um, who which is a sep like hand to hand fighter. Um, we don't get archers for a while, but I also usually like to keep archers in my squad, and then that's basically my squad. Uh, up until we get access to the Saiyans after the the game's over. I keep calling them Saiyans, they're technically called Gideons, but like... You'll see what I mean, they're... You'll see what I mean when we meet Hero Man. They are basically Saiyans. And then if you just basically fill your party with mostly those, it's great. Hello, Galahad! I'm coming! Yeah, we're out of tactics. Now we just uh, end turn. Now, do you have people in your front, Galahad? You do, so we can't kill you immediately. Well, can't let you suicide then. We gotta butter you up. Oh yeah, and this is the... Actually, we can just kill... Oh, we can do Demon Blast on him. Fuck yeah. Demon Blast or Great Wall? Uh, Great Wall is what we got for uh, one melee and two magic units, which we get from... The Swordsman and then the two Pyre Mages. They buff themselves up and beat all opponents' opposition into submission. Who? The Shady Figures? Yeah, spoilers. Yeah, let's try this one. I want to see it. I don't know if I remember this one. Demon Blast would have worked, too. Ooh, that leg, though. I will say, from some of the demos I've seen, too, it seems that, uh... Well, we count as a melee unit. It seems that this version of the game isn't quite as optimized as the original PS2 version is, which sounds a bit weird to say, but it's fine. So that was the thing. I mean, the class you mentioned that replaces virtually your whole endgame postgame squad? Oh. Um, no! They just basically, like, unleash a barrage of key blasts and giant death spheres and that kind of shit. They also hover, um, and look like like Vegeta minus any personality if that makes any sense the front row unleashes a flurry of key blasts that attack the entire enemy screen the middle row does um, like a like a Kamehameha basically that attacks a lane and then the back row does the giant death spheres See you, Galhad. We didn't get to kill that guy. Oh no, cool, we have to kill everyone. That's Suicide good. yourself, please. Thanks! Boop. Six damage. How will we ever survive? Boop. 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 108 damage stacked onto the man that probably had about 20 health. No, he probably like 50. Impossible! There's no way such rabble could. Suppose I'll have to let my commander deal with you. You must retreat for now. Good old Thorndike. That's the commander's name. <laughs> what a bunch of pansies! These are the guys in charge of guarding this place. Yeah, you talk big, but you only won. Yeah, we didn't even summon to that. There's no need. Wasty even big so, points. I still can't unleash my full power with such a weak body. That's my biggest concern. But now the real fight begins. You ready, soulmate? Okay, that world thingy is up next on the chopping block. You ready for this? Imagine remembering the concept of a chopping block 
but not being able to remember the name World Eater. Soldiers suck. Knights are pretty good, but soldiers suck. Um, yeah, we've got like shit all for gig points. We need way more. Uh, we'll pop a save. So, see how it says we're on map three? Uh, I'm pretty sure the main campaign of this has 54 maps? Some, obviously, more significant than others. But yeah, that basically means 54 main battles. Um, until you get into inspections, which is something we'll be doing on our second playthrough. I will very specifically not be showing that off on the first playthrough. Fight the World Eater? Yeah, we're gonna fight the World Eater. And again, I will not be spoiling. I'm not muted again, am I? No, okay, good. Let's go kill Every time that happens, I get very paranoid about it for like a good month's worth World of streams. Eater! God, how can you forget something so important? There she is. Oh, and we get knights after this. Good. Basically, every time we fight a certain type of unit, we get that unit. Uh, or at least access to them. For our summoning squads. Oh, um... I'm pretty sure the win condition was to lose. <laughs> yeah. Like Disgaea? Yeah, this is from the same people who made Disgaea, so there's going to be a lot of gameplay similarities. Not the same, though. One of the things that I like versus on this game versus all the other NIS RPGs I played is that you don't need to heal your units between battle. I don't know why that's such a big turnoff for me, but I really didn't like that. Just the way it worked, like, it didn't feel like that should be a thing. Here, your units all heal even if they die after the end of every battle. There's a couple other issues I had with Disgaea, but... We're going for that series again at some point. No, not here! Because this guy is the kind of series where, like, I really want to like it because it's always so cool. Interesting art decisions and comparable humor? Yeah. Just because it's not been doing anything doesn't the mean it's inactive. Just a few guys left that are totally worthless, but it looks like they didn't want to stay for a second round. They're gone already. So they're pretty strong then. Hell of a lot stronger than you, that's for sure. You have no idea how to use my power right. I mean, I do. Pretty much the best you can hope for is to get lucky and unlock a tiny portion of my godliness. Bitch, I worship the goddess of luck! Anyways, die, please. This might not be a kill. No, yeah, because the only one who's, who's gonna target is gonna be the mage in the back, and he might not even. Oh! Mage in the middle can target back, too. That's fine. He'll impale himself on us in a sec. Ow. Oh, he's using a skill on me to lower my action, which lower my speed, which is kind of annoying. I forgot they could do that. Uh, Pyre Mage, as if they're a leader of a squad, can do that too. What's her range? Uh, victory Hero Defeated. Yeah, we aren't winning this fight. Flat out. Uh, actually, fun fact, one of the secret endings you get is if you do actually win this fight. Because you are not supposed to be able to win this fight. If you win this fight, the timeline breaks. <laughs> so, uh, we'll, it's a nice, quick, easy alternate ending. So we'll be doing that uh, probably on our second playthrough. Uh, there are also two characters in this game that are from other NIS games. One of which I actually own. 
and quite like. Um, it's not an RPG, though. Um, and the other is a spoiler-ish? He goes by a different name in this world, but he's flat out the character from this other game. Because I guess he goes into a portal at the end of this game. I'll mention him when we get to him. Uh, but the other one is from Grim Grimoire, which is like a, a RTS kind of game, like a side-scrolling RTS where the computer cheats. It's weird. But it's a really fun game. And, wow. Yeah, I think our stamina must be low. Uh, the Witch Ghost Luge shows up and is recruitable in this game. Post-game or unreasonable grinding, is it even possible to grind yet? No, it's not possible to grind yet. Uh, we haven't uh, unlocked inspection mode. We also don't have the tools we need to utterly shatter this game into bitty pieces. With certain decor items, once you have the skill called Demon Force, you can level... I usually... It takes me about three hours to level up to about a level... From about level 50 to about a level 1,000, 2,000 if I want. It, it's like you can just fucking shatter this game if you know what you're doing. But like I say, because of how easy that is, and I, I want my first playthrough to be like somewhat challenging, uh, I don't do that until my second playthrough, because then it just becomes a point of getting through the same battles to and then making different choices, right? So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, who's moving next? The knight is? Cool. We're gonna move within Fane's range so she can just kill us. We're gonna strengthen our defense and resistance, guys! We're gonna live through this! Come at me, bro! Yeah! Nice. The items we need are the secret guide. Um, loners, no, no, um, burning spirit, and, oh, it's been a while, I'm gonna have to look it up when we get there. I mean, once we start getting decor items and I have to start dealing with them, I'll just know what they are, but, uh, anyways, we're about to fucking die. Hey, cop, morning, morning, thank you for the resub, my dude, congrats on the ten months. Just in time to watch us get fucking annihilated. No chance. Hey kid. Looks like you've taken some serious having a little trouble. Don't try to be a big man. Honestly, you stand no chance against her right now. I should know. She used to work for me after all, but that means I know how to knock her down a peg. You interested? Now, I did save before this fight. Yeah, sorry about that, Kaiser. I hit it too quick. Tell me, who's the baddest of the bad? The maddest of the mad? The killer of kings and destroyer of worlds? Um, you? You believe it. The one, the only, indestructible king! And if you let me, I can twist and crush and incinerate this peon in a flash. And you want that, right? Come on, it's okay. You want it. You need it. <laughs> Silence gives consent, they say. Fine then. Since you asked so nicely, I'll lend you a minuscule sliver of my power. Call for me. Open your mind. Oh yeah, this isn't the part that I'm thinking of. Clear your I mind think. of all thought. Forget about the world. Forget about yourself. Reach to the depths of your heart and embrace that desire. Yeah, okay, this is. Um, now, I did save before this fight, I'm, and I would love to show this off right now, but if we do, then we have to start again from the beginning, and it's just a bunch of me skipping dialogue. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna very deliberately save all the bad endings for after our first complete playthrough. Because then there's already gonna be a lot of like skipping through scenes so we can get to parts. And I don't wanna I don't wanna waste another like half an hour getting back to this point right now. Hey Drac, welcome back. Hi. Also I heard a sound. Oh! Hey cop, thanks for the $15. 
The sound plays, but I don't think the notific the thing showed up on the screen. That's annoying. I'm gonna have to set that up. Anyways, welcome back, Drac, and thank you again, coppers. Okay, we're gonna say I don't need your help. Come on, don't be so selfish. It's your job to save the world. Damn it. I can't let you go and get yourself killed. I need this body. You're really making a stupid decision here, kid. But what can you do? Okay, let's get out of here. Run, Forrest, run! Sir Galahad, report. What the hell is going on out there? Um, well, <laughs> we've been invaded. <laughs> Who would dare commit such a foolish act? It's the Nerids, Lord. They've hired a band of vicious vagabonds. You should have seen them. They were, they were barbarians. Oh, man, we're so scary. What exactly did you do in response? Ran. Well, you see, they tricked us. We were taken by surprise. They ignored our threats and attacked the World Eater directly. Their attacks had no effect, of course. They were treated soon afterward. This is most distressing. We should not allow anyone to provoke that monster. So long as we don't disturb it, it poses no danger. But now, that is all we can do to ensure the safety. I'd lick of the those eyeballs. Alarming. The annihilation of the Ellsberg Republic should still be fresh in your mind, Sir Galahad. Of course it is, Grand Corden. I don't know why they're not saying his full name right now, but he's Grand Corden Thorndike. His name is Thorndike. I love it. We're not sure that a world eater Thorndike is Thorndike rules. He's a great character. Sort of. scale of the slaughter, it's likely. It is our duty to make sure the glorious land of Raid does not suffer the same fate. Thank you for the report, Sir Galahad. Yes, Lord. Oh, and one more thing. As of this moment, you are relieved of your duties as World Eater Guardian. Get fired, bitch! What? From now on, you are charged with patrolling the city proper. Lord, if I may. The citizens must have faith in their protectors to feel secure. They must not come to see the Knights of Raid as weak or foolish. Hint, hint. If that is your wish, Lord. Raid Shadow Legend? Correct. Chevalier! Is it true? The invaders were Nerids? That's correct. Or at least they acted on the Nerids' behalf. <clears throat> now back to your position! Yes, Lord. Damn you, Thorndike! Yeah, there we go. You to hurl such insults. See, the Knights is weak, foolish, you say. How did you manage such a position as Grand Cordon at your tender age anyway? There's something rotten in that. Someone should strip you of the mask you wear. Hmm. Cool. Definitely popping a save, and then, yeah, I want to turn up the uh, voice volume a bit. Uh... There. Oh, hey now. Anything else we want to do in here? I don't think so. Hey, why'd you stop me? It was just about to give up. Totes. But now it's all ruined thanks to that jerk inside you. Looks to me like you got the snot beat out of you. The fuck I missed? Not much, but Kaiser. Hey, if you've really got your heart set on it, head back in. It's your funeral. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, hey, you there! You thought it was someone important, but it was me, Dio. Also oh, cool, a bot. Boop. We're a little busy hey. here. Attention to me! What is this all of a sudden? Who the heck are you? Who am I, you ask? <laughs> As you have taken the time to ask, it is my duty to answer fully. I am Dio. Kono Dioda! I, changer of fates, bondsman of the dead. I 
I am the most powerful wizard to ever walk the planet. Ah, uh, my light is almost dead. If you hold your life dear, leave your material possessions and go from here. Dio? Don't tell me you've never heard of me. Huh. Can't say I've ever seen someone dressed as strange as you. What? I am one of the divine, the chosen, the Draken. The Draken, not Draken. I refuse to believe you don't know of the great Dio. You know, uh, travels with two beasts and a fearsome warrior. Uh, Dio? Kono Dio does? Seriously? You have no idea who I am. We've kind of lived under a rock, to be fair. Not a clue. Da fools, all of you! Imagine living this long without knowing of such majesty. Very well. I had no intention of killing you, but now you must be punished. That seems like Dio. Even if you are clearly injured and no condition to fight, I will show you no mercy. Reminder, we are clearly injured and in no condition for a fight. Come forth, Just my reminder. Minions, Yavis and Perrin. Come forth, my blazing warrior, Gestal. Come forth and destroy! I'm a coming. <clears throat> uh, Yavis, uh, where are the others? They be here soon, I bet. Why is everyone so late? How many times have I told you to be ready to go at least ten minutes before I begin my speech? God, I love every character in this game. You the one with the wrong time. Hooey, there's a B. Hi, Perrin. Have no fear, Perrin's here. Oh, they aren't taking you seriously, are they? Tee <laughs> And there's good old Blazing Gestal. Middle-aged man. Place, I reckon. I gotta get back to taking care of my hot pods. Goddamn hot pods! I know, I know. Listen, I'm trying to make a good first impression here. So Aw, he's trying to make friends. Oh, uh, he says just try to have some dignity. Why not cough up some more scratch, huh? I weren't told there'd be so much golden walking. Have no fear, my dear Gaston. As promised, you will be rewarded based on the quality of your work. Don't you sass me, boy. And I ain't that gassy stall fella you keep calling me neither. Just play along, you old fart. I have no idea what the hell is going on. I love this game. I am I will say I am quite happy to get to be playing this with you guys because I just I love this game so much. You didn't use my power back there, but I know deep down, deep within your soul, you wanted to. You don't have to say anything. I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> so how about I lend you a tiny crumb of my power? Just as a gift. It even has an awesome name. Gig eat it. Hey, now we can use items in battle, basically. Use Giggy Dick by selecting it during battle, or by pressing the L button in towns, shops, or in the arrange menu. Oh yeah! You don't really know about shopping, huh, kid? After we crush these maggots, select Decor or Giggity gi bleh, Gig Edict from the arrange menu. You can buy Decor items and Gig Edicts from various supervisors. Oh, and one last thing. I'll go ahead and unlock the inspection command. Use inspection to enter a room and face a random dungeon in order to strengthen it. And it's good for gaining levels in GP. If you want more details, just head on over to the help menu. That is the mode which we use to break the game. Also, Giggity Drax says, indeed. 
Alright. So yeah, now we have items. Th these are your heals. I don't ever use items like these. They're just not worth it. But you can lower enemy stats or raise your own. Uh, hold hands is useful. You basically link two squads together. So when one moves, the other follows. It's basically like getting free moves. Great for making heavy ground. Uh, boot and extort, you literally like punt a squad further away. Can be useful in certain circumstances. There's also ones to increase your stamina. Oh, I turned my taxi emotes into this, lol, Kaiser. That's Twitch for ya. Um, and then there's other ones, but you mainly just use that for uh, healing uh, stamina and health. Mostly stamina in long battles. And it's not really a spoiler to say that obviously. Dio isn't this guy's name, however, we do actually meet a Dio. Dio is a real character, as is Gestal and Yavin and Perrin. Uh, I just love that it's Dio because of Jojo. Uh, yeah, okay, you're gonna suicide, you're gonna suicide, I can just go then. Go ahead and impale yourselves, guys. Dio because God. Hell yeah. Battle begins. Woo! Sorry, my girlfriend is coming over uh, either right at right before the end of the stream or shortly after, and I'm just keeping an eye on her progress. With uh, messenger. Okay. Uh, what's happened? Did they both die? Oh, the first one did. You coming after me, Dio? Come at me, bro. Damn you! Have you truly never had the pleasure of hearing my name? I wonder why my name is so unfamiliar in this area. I doubt we're the only ones. <laughs> Send the gift shadow. Well, give it up already. I implore you, remember and fear the name of the great Dio. Otherwise, I really will kill you all. <laughs> He's not joking, Teehee. Come at me, bro. Battle begins. Now, Drakens are actually pretty strong. And uh, Dio can fuck you up if you're not careful. Look at that damage. That was not insignificant. I mean, it's just too bad he's up against the protagonist. Oh, and I'm not going to give any context, but if any of you um, play a lot of NIS games, like Disgaea, but not limited to Disgaea, like Phantom Brave, Makai Kingdom, any of those, if you know the name Asagi, she's in this game and she's unlockable. Technically the hardest fight in the game. There's one that's harder, I think, maybe. Although when I did it recently, I had no trouble because I'd already broke the game into a bunch of pieces. Come at me, Gestal. Oh, we get access access to um, our brawler now, because that's what Gestal is. He's just special because he has a hat. You are difficult, cop. That's what you meant, right? Sorry, old man. Had to be that way. Oh, and whenever there's a cutscene, it automatically uh, zooms you all the way in, which is fine, but then it doesn't zoom you back out again. It's a little annoying. I don't know if I'm going to get to pull this off, but I'm going to try. I hope they just all attack the front. Damn, nope. Both mages went after the leader. That's fine. Oh, look, that uh, swordsman lived. He gets to attack before running away. Good for you, little buddy. Good for you. Battle result. Uh, retreat. We must reorganize. Are we done yet? 
Master just doesn't have it in him. Tee hee. Tee hee hee, some crow that stings. Now look at my clothes. You got them all muddy, dag nabbit. Hold on. Dio? Have I heard that somewhere before? Nah, no way. Gig's a JoJo fan confirmed. I wonder what Gig's favorite part would be. Probably part two, to be honest. He'd empathize with cars. So, what was the deal with that old guy, huh? Like we have time to mess around with the elderly. Rude. We have even less time to waste on stupid cows. Don't you agree? No, I like her. <laughs> You're too soft, kid. Don't you get it? People like her always get carried away and end up doing something stupid. You know, you don't have to take her along. You can just leave her here and summon her later. But since you're so whipped, I'll do it for you. Hey, stupid cow! Ugh, what do you want? Did I forget to mention that you need a certain item to get into Aztec? It's called the Crimson Tear. We've got one for ourselves, but what about you? Wait, what? I don't have one! Why would I have one? Why didn't you tell me? Where am I gonna get one now? <laughs> You're in luck! There's one buried right there, under that tree! Start digging, look for a blood-red gem! That's the Crimson Tear. No one would fall for that, right? Now that you mention it, I think Lady Lena had something like that. I know just what it looks like. Thanks for helping me out. Who knew you could be so nice? God damn it, Danette. You're so hard to defend. <laughs> no need to thank me. If you don't find it right away, just keep digging. Good luck. Take it easy. We'll go on ahead and wait for you. Bye-bye. That wasn't very nice. Oh, what? Now you're gonna complain? You didn't speak up before. If she's willing to believe such an obvious lie, she deserves what she gets. I just don't have the energy to put up with idiots. She makes me want to punch kittens. Anyway, nice. every living thing is just a pawn for me to move as I please. It's not even worth thinking about. Besides, don't you have some grand epic quest that old hag sent you on? Why even think twice about dumbass cows like her? Aw, oh, Desperado stop. Alright, we have access to more rooms now, which is neat. I don't really care, but we do have some maintenance we gotta do. So we're gonna lock this one real quick, and we're gonna... Maybe see if we have access to anything more than five. I don't think we do. Also, yes, I know it makes a cha-ching noise, but we're not actually spending anything. I don't know why it does that. No, I don't think we're going to have access to a uh, six-person room. I'm happy we got a five, especially with that layout. That's a pretty decent layout for, for my preferred style of party. So we're just going to leave that as is. Uh, we do need a few new units, though. We're going to grab one of you. We're going to call you... Gearless... Joe. Because all of you need to watch Megalobox. It's a fucking amazing anime. Something something Asagi's original first appearance was cancelled and she's psychotically trying to take over this game to make up for that, basically. That's what she does. And then I think everyone else is good? Yeah, we're good with the rest of our party for now. Uh, so you are out. Goodbye. Uh, you guys are all the correct level. I don't need to worry about you, but we will end up replacing you later. I guess I can just rename you now. Can I? 
I actually don't know if I can. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Fire Mage. You're gonna get called Jenna. Because you are female. And Jenna is from Golden Sun. Jenna. Okay. Uh, we'll take you two out as well. When I very first ever played this game, where am I going? Um, I thought the the mages were dudes. Don't know why. Did she? Did this Augie eventually get her own game? Oh, that's cool. Good for her. She deserves it. You know what? I'm gonna keep you as Vivian. I don't know why, but that one felt special. You though, you're getting called Pierre's. Also from Golden Sun. I think I called you something different on my most recent playthrough, I'm sure. There. Now we'll throw you back in. Perfect. Okay, and we'll drop a save. Our party will stay the same for a while until we're start able we're able to start adding more members. I also like uh, two archers. Um, one, both in the middle, actually, because they do, like, a Gatling lane cover. And the back row is usually kind of variable. You don't, I don't really care about having three in the back row. It's more about having the mage and the healer. Um, okay, did I save? I'm going to save anyways, in case, even if I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, I saved, okay. Everything's good. Danette's squad doesn't matter. Our squad is fine. Alrighty. Commence battle. There is no story significance to this battle. You'll find that there's a few battles that just kind of happen as you travel. You can kind of assume that we get, like, attacked on the road. However, they almost always have a new unit for us to unlock. So after this battle, we get bandits. Which, I mean, again, that explains why we're having this fight, but... Um... Yeah, I don't really use those guys. They're not bad. Oh, I know who my my uh, saboteur. That's who I usually like to put in my back row until we get Gideons, because they make a uh, yeah. You'll see. Anyways, let's jump into it. I did. Okay, I need to. I yeah. These guys go invisible if they're leaders. I, uh, I need to change that now before I keep ending my turn accidentally. E is not supposed to be that. Or I could just stop hitting E. Whatever. Uh, invisible units, if you bump into them, or, like, you bump into them, basically, uh, they'll lose their invisibility, but you, you also can't move anymore. So you gotta be careful if you're, like, just kind of scouting out movement options, because that can kind of fuck you over. Also, they lose their thing if they attack, but until then, they just stay invisible forever. Which is annoying for, um, abilities that target the world map, or the field map, I guess it's called. Uh, because then you can't target them, although... If it just hits an area, it'll still hit them. Not really relevant right now. Anyways, they're all going to impale themselves on us, so don't worry about it. Yeah, I like the brawler because they do several hits, and the hits are actually pretty good damage. Battle begins. Nice crit, bro. But he's gearless, Joe. He don't go down. He takes the hits and keeps on ticking.
<laughs> Definitely one of my uh, favorite new anime I watched in 2021 was Box. Hello! Yeah, see, normally if I made a move I'd be able to go back. I can't anymore. I'm locked in. But that is entirely okay. I'm just gonna... I basically just walked up to him, knocked away his invisibility, and I'm just, like, staring at him in the face. I powered up and then I stared at him in the face. Radiant Historia is the one that, um... involves jumping back and forth between timelines to change things in the future, right? I played the demo of that, and I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to actually playing it in full one day. You're right, I did I did quite enjoy that combat. Basically what I'm saying. It's for the 3DS, I think? 3DS or DS, but I think 3DS. Oh, turn 3 is an important turn in this game. A lot of uh, decor items will have an effect until the end of the third turn. So when that kicked in just now, I had a bit of a... Oh shit, okay, things change. Oh wait, no, we're too early in the game for that. Oh, and these people that are in my squad, by the way, I don't think they're real people. Like, I think I literally manifested them into being. I've always had, like, um... Just like an almost anime in my head for this game. Including ways to justify the multiple playthroughs and stuff. Begin. And when we go Demon Path, I always just picture Cheshire grins and red eyes on all of them, you know what I mean? Original was for DS, remake was art style change that divides the fandom and a whole new route is for DS. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I did. I did really enjoy it. I think it was the 3DS version I tried because it was, um, I'm pretty sure like I have it as a demo on my 3DS. I just haven't powered on my 3DS in years. Did we not? Oh, we didn't get to do Demon Blast there, did we? No, we, the mage is target of the leader. That's annoying. I'd recommend DS, of course. Fair. And it was that fight's over. That's S rank? Results. Just A rank. Took too long, I guess. Yeah, we did literally waste a turn. I gotta remember to save after every battle, too, because it is entirely possible, no matter how powerful you are, to just do something. Well, not no matter how powerful you are. Up to a limit, of course. But it's really easy to get yourself killed doing stupid shit. 3DS for content, not for aesthetic. Good to know. And there's hey, fucking That's Levin. Right, you there. Oh. He's a fun character. He usually... If I'm ever gonna summon a squad, it's usually his squad. Because he's got some uh, useful uh, field abilities. Why do these people insist on getting in our face? Never seen you around here. And this is his theme, by the way. No, I don't. Sorry, but nobody's getting past me without a referral. I guess minor spoiler that we get him, but like, shh, don't worry about it. Whether it's the main route or the demon route, if there is a named NPC, we get them. Again, whether it's the main route or the demon route, you get them, if they're named. You just do. With, like, obvi a few obvious, like, non-combatant exceptions. Where'd that voice come from? Oh, that was nothing. Hey, Vitaly. What's going on here? Is there a problem? Vitaly's usually in God, my squad. This place is just crawling with brainless maggots! No, he's usually in Levin's squad. What am I saying? I'm really not in the mood for this. Here, let me lend you some of my power. Just kill it quick, would you? You know, he is so eager to give that now, shit out. Now, what seems to be the trouble? And that is Kristoff. We don't get him. Master Kristoff. 
these agitators came around and started giving us lip. Mm -hmm. And the boys came out of nowhere and insulted me. It was like a ghost or something. Oh, sorry. My dear boy, are you all right? Anyway, they don't have any sort of referral, and they're just trying to barge in here. Hmm. I'm sorry, but we are quite strict here. You must have a referral to enter. You have no choice but to turn around and head back the way you came. <laughs> That's what he thinks. But we don't have to listen to him, do we, soulmate? We can just break right in. Isn't there any other way? I wish I could help. But rules are rules. I'm sure you came a long way, but we can't simply toss protocol out the window. I'm sure you understand. <sighs> listen here, old man. I'll tell you what I understand. I don't give a shit what you say. We're going in, like it or not. Sorry if you guys are talking in chat. I'm just sending GF a message. What is this ghostly voice? You're not a normal human, are you? If that's the case, I cannot let you in and I cannot let you leave. Oh, he's making an issue out Go of it. On. Seize them. Okay, back to chat. Cool, cool. Yeah, nice try, bud. Oh, we get archers. Okay, cool. You'll regret turning your blades on me once you're dead. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Oh, these juicy lines. I want demon force. Demon force is an ability you get like three levels before the end of the game, so it's it's really for new game plus and, like, the end game stuff. But basically, it's a field attack where you target, like, whole squads, and it's five tiles of damage hitting the entire tile. So whenever I see a lineup like this, I just... Oh, juicy. You ever unlock the ability to summon monsters as allies, barring the obvious exception of a specific triad of bosses? Yes! Every single enemy we fight, barring specifically named characters that are, like, obviously evil, you can summon. Um, whenever we fight a monster for the first time, after that battle, we'll unlock the ability to summon. You can have whole monster squads if you want. And in fact, there are specific decor items that specifically grant bonuses to monsters. Anyways, these guys are going to impale themselves. Battle begins. I also think this is one of the only games or fights in the game to have uh, Bad Boys as the song. Normally, Bad Boys is like cutscene song. I could be wrong about that though. There might be a few more like it. Battle begins. Wow, that actually hurt. Although the archers may present issues, provided they don't need to engage you at a confrontation range, right. You'll still get weakened uh, because of the two pyre mages, but yeah, unless uh, we get a lucky crit or something on their leader, I'm going to have to manually target them, or they're going to have to attack me twice, possibly three times, to do a full impale. Battle begins. Only one gets to move before we get our second turn, though. So we'll probably target the other one ourselves. 
We are also taking more damage because uh, the more battles we're in, the more stamina we're losing. And you want to lose a little bit of stamina, but not all of your stamina. Yeah, see, like, that one is going to need a target, or we're going to have to let him attack us again for it to be a full impale. Archer didn't want to move. Cool. Uh, if I go too far, this guy's going to have to run to catch up. That's fine. Oh, can we kill the Pyramage? So, field tactics. These things that I'm using, uh, we don't have any offensive ones until we get Demon Force. However, some units such as the pyre mage do and they're actually kind of annoying they'll probably kill several of my units if they do so you're the one that's going to present an issue what's your reign okay we don't want to target those archers yet we're going to let them come to us we're going to move to right here go ahead so begin Yep. If that Pyre Mage gets to do his field tactic on me, um, the Brawler will probably die, both the Mages will die, and the Cleric and me will be weakened. The Brawler might not die, he might be close to death. And we uh, won't have a chance to heal unless we are the ones to do the next attack. So, I want to stay out of his range. And we'll go in for a kill on him next turn. I'm annoyed that the Archers didn't come at me. But uh, the way a lot of these enemy AIs tend to work is, unless you go into, like, direct melee range, they'll, like, approach you in waves. So if you want, you can even, like, fortify a position and let them come to you, because they absolutely will. But the, then you'll lose all your rewards and gain points at the end of battles. So, I mean, you know, trade-off. It does help sometimes when things are really powerful, though. Like, yeah, sometimes you need to. Oh, so you're approaching me, exactly. Love these level ups. Can we get the mage? Not quite. Ugh, we're gonna have to wait into his range, unless we want to just let the archers have a free first hit. I guess that's what we'll do. We could also just take out Levin here. It's our... Defeat half of enemy forces, right, okay. So then, yeah, this next attack is gonna be the last one. Let's, let's wipe out Levin. That'll amuse me greatly. But he's in the front. He's just going to die anyways. Ah, whatever. We'll try it. Everyone focus your efforts on the other two. Obviously, he's going to get hit by the firewall. Yup. Nice. Nice. Well, the other two aren't going to die, but that's fine. Get demon blasted. I'm hoping for a kill. I'm hoping we're not going to get fucked by the numbers here. Uh, we might get a kill. It depends on how much that last hit does. Have you defeated a single archer yet? No. They're gonna live. Gotta love melee, Daka. Nice, that's a kill. They're not going to be unlocked then. Oh, they'll be unlocked. It doesn't matter if we kill them. We just have to complete the battle they're in. Battle results. Some of those are actually nice. Unlock the key to my heart. Everyone stop. Just hold it. We should back off for now. Hmm. What is it now? He's in the middle of his blood rage! Lost your will to fight? Whoa, hey, hey, you're gonna let him get away? Damn it, you friggin' coward! It was just getting fun! What a chip! I'll be damned. I must admit. We've been bested. Wasn't even hard. Though your Pyramage did give me some slight pause. Only because the archers were covering them. 
For a while there, I thought you might be a demon or something. I guess that's not quite right. That voice Almost. and your strange power are connected, aren't they? Where do they come from? <sighs> Let me explain. I see. How very interesting. We just explained. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. What I'm we explained, who knows? Lead contact for this area's financial syndicate. He basically runs this town. I must apologize for earlier. We have no intention of standing in your way. For a while, I thought you were bald. Well, that ain't quite no, right. <laughs> he is kind of bald. Uh, don't say that to him, though, because he gets a little touchy about it. How about this? I'd like you to come to my home with me. This Ooh. Invited into a strange I'm man's home. I'm interested in the power you have displayed and your split personality. Ah. And I simply must repay you for the undue hostility we've displayed. Besides, you have business in my fair city, do you not? Damn straight to bed! I accept! Business can be tough here if people don't know your face. I can help make things a bit more convenient for you. Once you finish up here, please drop by. Oh, you schemer, you. Whatever, I don't even care anymore. This one's up to you, kid. I think we should accept. Thank you. I'll let my attendants know to expect you shortly. I hope you're sore, Eleven! <laughs> In the meantime... Yeah, two battles later, she's still digging. Where's that stupid gem? I hate this! I love you, Danette. Never change. <laughs> Alright. Lots of talking to people here. This town is great. This town is grand. Every desire in the palm of your hand. Fulfill any wish. Indulge any hunger. Protect the weak. Or tear them asunder. The entrance is noisy. Pay no mind. Find what you want. And take it from behind. Carry me away where the wind blows. My next stop? I'm glad I do not know. Yep, that's a pretty good song, huh? Figured I'd try my hand at something more mainstream, you know? That was interesting. Something's been wrong lately. This place has lost all its energy. There used to be kids running around, and I'd yell at them for being annoying. And now there's nobody to yell at. Where'd all those kids go? And it looks like people have stopped praying and going to church, too. We all work for Kristoff. We're here to look after the city. No two-bit hooligans would dare mess with us. So how'd you get so tough? We'd be dead right now if Kristoff hadn't stepped in. Maybe I should go buy that Bullying for Dummies book. Hey, you're those badass warriors, right? My boss was telling me about you guys. I have loads of great blades for you. Take a look around. Hey, kid! You better not buy anything here. If you buy anything from anyone, you buy from me. Hey, you! Listen here! He's not buying jack shit from you. She. You can shove those swords right up your ass! Th that voice! Okay, okay. I won't force you. I'll let the other stores know. Okay. Yeah, we never buy anything from anyone except for uh, gig, ed gig edicts and decor from the range menu. Hey, it's you guys. Kristoff told me to treat you good, and so I shall. The Rakamaka tea is perfect for making babies. Uh, oh, leaving so soon? We'll come back again. I have to buy more. I gotta dress nice to win his heart. Oh, those other cities are all so far away. It's a real jungle out there. You can't survive on your own. So now I gotta find someone to take care of me. And I'm gonna dress up to try and find someone in town to fall in love with me. And then I'll get married and have kids. And if that doesn't work, at least I'll have fun trying. <laughs> nice. No! No worthwhile documents here! I must find out what happened 200 years ago! But there aren't any files from then! We don't know anything about the entity that, leads the, that led those world eaters. Devil, Grim Reaper, God of Destruction... Whoever he was, even the world's top mage couldn't best him. For most people, the moment you saw him was the moment you died. But I must find out more. 
<laughs> you want to know, huh? I could tell you things about him that would make your stomach churn and your butt pucker. What? That voice? Um, excuse me. Yeah, we out. Ah, the poster. We'll come back to that. Eh, you're not a merchant, are you? This place is for merchants only. I don't sell piece by piece. This is wholesale only. And I don't think you've got enough cash. So get out of here. I wonder how many times I've come here now. This is where news and goods from all over the world come together. But it's also where traitors and black market dealers come to hide from the financial s syndicate. Plus, security is tight enough that you don't have to worry about pickpockets or hooligans. It's great! But you have to leave eventually, and travel can be very dangerous. So make sure you're prepared. Here, I've got the perfect thing to help you out. It's a feather of a rare, mysterious bird. How about it? I don't think so. Oh, okay then. Damn, I thought I had a sucker. Okay, really quick. Really quick. Really quick. You know how he talked about, um... No pickpockets? Yeah, about that. So our gig edicts, if we have a single fight... I think boot will work. But if you use, um, fight, blackmail, whatever, any of those, well, not, not blackmail specifically, but, uh, this will happen. We're gonna kick him in the face. Yowzers, that stings! Oh, no, wrong one. Okay, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, we're doing this right. We are doing this right. Bandit and archer. Yeah, that's nice. We are doing this right. I am not explaining anything you were looking at. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Oh, I will explain one thing though. You see this bar here? As we buy stuff, this will fill up when it gets to uh, full. We can use fight on the merchant in here, and if we win that fight, the store will level up and we get access to more shit. I will explain that. These are to heal our stamina, which is way more important than healing your health in like 98% of scenarios. Okay. Now, we're gonna save. Oh, no. Town. Sorry, uh, let's do this right. Selling a fight, huh? Sure, I'll buy it. I dress like a bandit so nobody will mess with me. But I'd like to fight, yeah. Battle Bring it, bitch. Begins. How's this for pickpocketing? Hold hands for manipulated purposes, Shadow. Also might want to undo that grudge. I literally don't care. The NPCs in this game, you can do whatever they want. If you want to them, it does not matter. And you always start the battle with max stamina, obviously. Anyways, their leader is literally down, but it goes to the end, even if you go down. Look at that, look at that, look at that! Give me all your money, bitch! This, of course, has no consequences either. Or repercussions in any way, shape, or form. It's just a thing you can do. And you just don't worry about it. We just stole 860 gil uh, gig points from him. That was a bad idea. And we can do it again if we want. We can keep doing it. Now, um... Okay, there's more people we're going to talk to. But... I want to show you Hero Man. Which will in turn show you the Saiyans. Or, sorry, the Gideons. Now serving. Baked hot pods. Yes, you, you can bake hot pods. I mean, I guess that makes sense. We're still trying to figure out what the fuck hot pods are. But no, this is what I want to show you. We're going to pick a fight. Uh, fight is spent, yes. It's an item we have to use every time we use it. Um, and don't worry, we're going to eventually have so... Like, not even eventually, like shortly. We're going to have so many items that we have to keep selling them to make room for all the new items we get. So, like, things can be wasted and sold and... Except for some very specific ones. You'll hear when those are important. 
Uh, if you pick a fight with, like, usually posters is what I try and aim for, but also some certain, in uh, like, ones that make sense that they wouldn't be able to fight, you get... Hero Man! Toh! What the hell? Some freak just dropped out of the blue! Toh! Hyah! Ho! Chug! What? You want a piece of me? Crazy bastard! Battle begins. Those are Gideons. I call them Saiyans. We're gonna get annihilated here, by the way. There's, like, no chance we win this. There's, like, eight or so scripted fights with Hero Man, like, like, with new dialogue. Uh, each time he's stronger. Uh, so you can, we will eventually be able to kill him here, but not, not right now yet. See that? We're already wiped out. And they'll start doing a bit of damage, but it's already too late. Probably in about 10 uh, levels or so, we'll be able to come back and fight him. And then we'll unlock the next one. It doesn't do anything, it's just fun dialogue. You got this, Vivian! Or Jenna, whichever one you are. Nice crit, bro! Next playthrough? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I mean, like... Ta! Damn! I don't believe I lost to this freak! Hero Man has vanished in the sky. Like, literally, in, a, in like, ten or so levels, before the end of this playthrough, we'll have done all his scripted dialogues. No worries. Alright, uh, now we got the Yemsis Church... Uh, Yemsis Lounge. Going out in style? Hell yeah. Mr. Kristoff? Oh, he's as smart as a whip, that one. He got pretty depressed when his parents were killed, but he seems to have come back up again. Power, money, he's got everything. I tried to snake him myself if he weren't so... bald. I've got a crush on this girl. She's so cute and fragile, but her hot-headed brother is always getting in the way. Stupid step. <laughs> hey, check this out. I got lost and was just wandering around when I found some road to the north of Raid. Eventually, I wound up in some field, and I couldn't believe what I saw. I was face to face with the world eater. It was bigger than a friggin' mountain. No one can be any, no way anyone can beat that thing. I was so scared. My knees get weak just thinking about it. Kaiser asks, is he how you unlock that player class? No, actually. You would think it would be. Like, that would make sense. But uh, you can go the entire game without even realizing that he's a thing that exists. Because, like I say, it only comes if you pick fights with posters, basically. Um, you automatically unlock the Gideon class the second you complete your first playthrough. Like, you load back in for your second playthrough, and it goes, You have now unlocked the Gideon class. It, it's just silly with extra lines and stuff. The NSC Church. Hey, I'm bored. Let's play. Everyone else is too busy studying and working. Mom said everyone spends lots of money on their kids so the kids can take care of them later. What's that mean? Hey, I told you not to talk to strangers. I'm sorry, but please stay away from my child. She means everything to me, and I can't afford to lose her. I wish I could give her a brother or sister, but I doubt I'll ever be able to have another child. I haven't slept for three days straight. I shouldn't be drinking so much tea, but I need the energy. Oh, what? You want to fight? I used to be a soldier, you know. Of course, that was years ago. Begins. Just, just, don't wor just don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, you can pick fights with anyone you want, and it, it doesn't matter, but it's fun. We've got one more fight. I'll pick a fight with the child. For you, Kaiser. I will beat up the small child. It's probably going to be Hero Man if I do the child. Uh, if I fight the child. Phrasing. It's okay to murder children. Sort of, kind of, not really. Damn it, we played Five Nights at Freddy's. I thought we were over this, Shadow. Child murder is acceptable in video games. Anyways, elderly woman has been uh, beat up. We stole 300 GP. 
Hey, stop staring at me. My skin's all greasy today. I must be getting older. Maybe let's beat up the kid. Mom, look, some weirdos here. Two. What the hell? Okay, now it's the same as before. Yep. Battle begins. Is fighting ever a way to unlock classes before you otherwise would? Nope. It's basically just a way to get, uh, get... There are certain, like, if anyone's rich, we're gonna automatically beat them up, because they're gonna have lots of gig points. But other than that, nah. It's just kind of a silly thing you can do. Die! Oh, good, he didn't attack, um, Sarah first, so she's actually gonna be able to do some decent damage. It literally won't help, but... Also, when we are ready to do the Hero Man fights, I will be equipping decor items so that we specifically can, uh, like, have stats boosted and stuff. Um, decor items go away after a, like, a, a battle map. Like how I said, there's 54 maps. But inspection battles, um, fighting the shopkeepers, or, like, fighting people like how we're fighting here does not consume decor items. So it's best to use your most powerful for stuff like that. He doesn't even really have that much health, just high defenses if that crit is anything to go by. Oh yeah, like I say, we'll be able to kill him, like, the first wave of him. He gets stronger, but we'll be able to take uh, his first couple out shortly. Not super concerned. And we can trigger it from anywhere, as long as there's a poster or, like, as you see, like a small defenseless child. Hero Man shows up. Uh, okay, story time. Kristoff shows you and Gig gracious hospitality. <sighs> Man, this stuff is great. I've never tasted anything like it. Here, here, try this syrup. Yeah, Gig likes Holy food. Holy hell, you sure know how to put out a good spread. You seem to be in a better mood. What's mood got to do with it? If something's stupid, I say so. If something's delicious, I say so. It has nothing to do with mood. So, you're enjoying it then? It's a special dish from the Southwest, made mostly from hot pods. Fucking hot pods! If you like, I can fix They are the only food in this world. I mean, well, not that really, raises but... raises a question. You're tasting it through that body, yes? Does that mean you share all senses? So again, hot pods are grown from plants because, um, we meet hot pod farmers later. Uh, we technically already have. Um, it's grown from a plant, it's crunchy when you bite into it, however, it's also implied to be... It's soft in some ways? It's... And also, you would think it to be a fruit, but it's, it's also kind of implied to be a meaty thing. Screw that! If it's good, it's good! But anyway, if you've got something you want to say, just say it. Stop trying to kiss our ass. Did you have something to tell us? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just so interested in you two. Very well, to the topic at hand. How about babies? I manage Bob. all the trade throughout this region. But my position entails many problems, of course. Often, simple power of position isn't enough in our desolate world. I suppose I should just be frank. No, you're Kristoff. I'd like to borrow your power. That grand, wonderful, mysterious source of influence you have. <laughs> what about your prized warriors? <laughs> right to the point, I see. True, I am able to field a sizable army. Child guarding one is definitely stronger than the poster one, assuming the huge chunk of the health from the crit that I missed was as small as I assume it was. It's the same one. It uh, just came down to um, who he targeted first, because Reva or Sarah got the main character got targeted first the first time, and she does more damage than the other characters in the squad. So she actually got to Some do an attack. Can't be solved with brute force. Trust like me, they're they're the same. They only uh, get stronger no, yeah, the more we succeed. But I know you'll need money. Money! And I paid very handsomely for valuable services. So, how about it? Why not cut out the middleman? We could just take everything you have by force. You said yourself you can't stop us. Yes, well, 
That would pose a problem, wouldn't it? So, soulmate, what are you gonna do? What exactly do you want from us? <sighs> Why you gotta be so nice to people? Cause we're the hero, this damn it! Guy's obviously not on the up and up. I don't care either way. But are you really gonna let him treat you like a sucker? Thank you for your consideration. Let me explain myself more fully. Brother, I need to speak with you a moment. Hmm. Oh, Cuthbert, what is it? <clears throat> You've caught me in the middle of a meal with some rather important guests. There's a dispute taking place outside. We've come upon a suspicious Sep girl. Hmm. We've taken some minor injuries. She's surprisingly powerful. Ha! I wonder if it's who I think it is. Ah, an acquaintance of yours? Most likely. Well, let's bring her in and make sure. Cuthbert, please bring her to us. And treat her kindly. She may be friends with our honored guests here. Cuthbert is man-child? No, no, Kristoff is man-child. Well. Cuthbert's the responsible one. Can't you see by the, the smile and pipe versus the serious expression? Here she is, brother. <laughs> you jerk! There wasn't any stinking crimson tear under that tree. I dug like a million holes out there. I hate liars so much. So, you know each other then? I won't forgive you for leaving me behind like that. Hey, you in there! Are you even listening to me? My name isn't Hey You in there, it's Gig! G-I-G Gig! Why can't you get that through your thick bovine skull? Ugh, you're really pissing me off! I'm gonna rip that smart-ass melt right off your face! Don't you remember who this body actually belongs to? Your stupidity really knows no limit. I think your mother dropped you on your head one too many times. you think the horns would help with that. She's wearing a cowbell, so it's one of those games. Indeed. Oh, Cuthbert's laugh. <laughs> you people are just too funny. <laughs> the hell is wrong with that guy? <laughs> You'll have to excuse him. He, uh, really loves to laugh. Miss, you look exhausted. We have some food prepared if you're hungry. Well, that's a bad idea. fight on an empty stomach. <laughs> You should all get some rest. We can talk more about your task tomorrow. I must excuse myself for now, but please take your time. Uh, we don't want to apologize to the nap. Fuck the nap. So, that Kristoff guy. I don't trust him. He's up to something. I don't know his angle yet. Don't let your guard down. Hey, what are you doing wandering around? I got lost. <laughs> You're a terrible liar. A more paranoid man might mistake you for a spy. You should be more careful. What about you? Taking off in the middle of the night? Talk about suspicious. It's because you're here. My brother's sure to give me some mindless task to help you guys. I want to get out of here before that happens. Well then, take care. <laughs> Thanks. Anyways, be a good little child and get back to your room, okay? Mysterious dream time. Were you a good little child? You didn't get bored, did you? For being so good. I'll sing you a lullaby. Now, shall I take you to the emerald colored forest? This was the voice that spoke to us, by the way, when we started hey, a new game. What was that? Were you dreaming? Was that when you were a kid? Was that what you call a mother? 
Don't forget, we're an orphan too. I don't remember. Ah, uh, well, not like it matters. You saw my dream, I saw yours. Now we're even. Okay. Back He's to business. probably going to get here pretty quick. Phone's going to ring any minute. Are you familiar with the Nerids? Oh, those damn pesky Nerids. I don't think so. They're a species of all female creatures. Missed more dialogue? Their name I don't think so. They live Did I accidentally skip a thing? Water. Their stronghold lies in the waters to the southeast of Raid. Oh, okay. They're not usually We saw a mysterious group, dream of a baby and a weird woman the area around the city. We're quite troubled by the ruckus these water women have been raising. As recently as yesterday, a group of knights were attacked behind <laughs> our own castle wall. <gasps> Who could have done oh, wow. such a thing? Really? Hmm? You have something to say? N nothing. The enemy was quite vicious, I hear. The Nerids apparently hired them. Their leader was a giant barbarian covered <laughs> in terrifying tattoos. That's me. <laughs> Will you listen to this guy? Regular soldiers simply aren't cut out for this. Oh, I'd that's like her. Alright, I'll be back in a minute, me. guys. And back. All right. So basically, you want us to genocide them all down to the last flipper. Back to some good old gig. <laughs> Not quite. I would never suggest such an unsettling idea. I just want them to understand that if you cause trouble in raid, you'll be the ones to suffer. <laughs> That's too easy. Intimidation job. Well, I'll be there and back before you can cook up our victory dinner. You're certainly not lacking in confidence. I look forward to your successful return. Um, didn't we attack those guys? Shh. Shut up, kid. If they find out it was us, that's just gonna cause more grief. Hmm? Is it possible that you? No, no, <laughs> that couldn't be. Yeah, we're not a giant barbarian with lots of tattoos. some of my personal security detail. Feel free to use them however you see fit. So, how about it? We don't need the help. Now you're talking, kid. We're more than man enough for this. You trying to mock us or something with your pathetic rabble of worms? He wastes no words. No. <laughs> Actually, I wanted them to go and watch you in action. It oh, we're a performance. It's a learning experience for them. Glad to hear you didn't underestimate us. So, who are they? What kind of newbies are you forcing on us? I should hope you recognize them. Though Cuthbert seems to have slipped away, please <laughs> bring Levin and Vitaly to us. 
Excuse the intrusion. Master Kristoff, you wanted to see me? You're that guy from yesterday. Hey, aren't you that candy-ass guard from before? <laughs> I suppose to you, everyone must be a candy ass. Pretty much. But he's done pretty well for us so far. Got that right. Who can compare to my totally indestructible ass? We're talking about Gig's ass but now. Fine. We'll take these little children to school. Go ahead, soulmate. Dominate them. Uh, Master Kristoff? Having complete faith in your full potential, I send you on this mission. I ask that you go along with them. Levin, I know how much you love being a city guard. Well, that's... Well, it's just because of the community. And if my sis... Uh, my family needs me... Oh, don't try and hide it. It's your sis. Yes, Levin. I understand quite well why you might not want to leave here. But this is only temporary. And it's for your own good. You can't be a guard your whole life, you know. Vitaly the Ethereal. Yeah, okay, bud. He is pretty good at, like, not being noticed. Time to dominate Levin and Vitaly. Was that it? Indeed. That went faster than I imagined. Very well. So Levin will definitely... Levin and Vitaly, I like to give a squad together. They've got a combo attack if you stick them together, too. And I actually kind of use Levin. But I see no limit to their power. Wouldn't you agree that someone should keep an eye on them? If they were ever to turn on us. I understand. Batali the spy. I can't trust anyone but you. Do you understand? I will do as you say. And another thing. If you find out anything about those others, please inform me right away. Of course. UNLIMITED POWER! That's right, Ned. Alright, let's drop a save since we are done with that cutscene. I would hate to lose that progress. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, right, we've got... Now, I want to see if we have access to six-man squads. Probably not. If we do, I'll change the main squad layout. But I don't think we do. For now, I'll just be replacing uh, the one mage with... Ooh. No, there's no front. I'll be replacing the one mage with uh, an archer. That one's not bad, but there's no back. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be... A six man and the five mans. We actually are really lucky to have gotten the five man that we did because the five mans we're seeing are not uh, evenly balanced. We'll take that. Okay, uh, let's buy ourselves an archer. Name her Hilda. I don't know why, but it's tradition. It just is. And Jenna's in the middle, so we're going to put Jenna in the back. We're going to replace Vivian. Okay, and then you guys. Levin in the front. Vitaly in the back. Uh, why don't you guys take Vivian? Let's get you another brawler. Bare knuckle, as they call him. Bismarck, the capital of Germany. And then... Oh, let's get... Uh, I don't like back row archers as much. Oh, we got Finxes after we uh, took out Dio. Uh, Vitaly's a cleric, so I'm, that's why I'm not getting one. 
Yeah, we'll do a feint. Sure. They uh, they boost attack. They're a buffer when they're in the back. <laughs> Denmark. Taruga. Ogobogo. Okay, Ogobogo. Cool. So there's Bismarck. And Ogobogo. Pop a save. We should probably hit up the, the Gig Edict shop and the decor shop. We have some money now. I don't think we're going to need to use any decor, but we're still going to hit it up. Oof, no fights. That's annoying. Oh, and the decor. These are the important ones. You're going to want to do a lot of boosting here. Uh, there's nothing really that would help us out too much. That one's a decent one. We're pretty early, so a lot of these are the basic ones that I basically never use. But we're going to have to buy a few here. Sure, sure. Okay. Oh! Um, so there's one very specific bug that this game has always had that I really am hoping they fixed. Like, I'm really, I really hope they fixed it. Um, as you keep, like, leveling up your shops and these guys get stronger and stronger, eventually they become basically gods and they they kind of mechanically work a bit weird like you're not supposed to be able to fight them so you're meant to lose right but once you break this game and you get to the kind of level you need to for all the secret shit you can kill them quite easily and when you do that the game soft locks so i'm really hoping when we get that far um that we can do that also we might not be able to fight them right now because i don't have any fights Yeah, I don't have any. I don't think this will do it, but we'll try it. We'll buy a few items, I guess. Sure. Cool. Okay, what I want is this one, though. We're gonna save first. Because if this does that grudge thing that I don't usually try kicking, but if this causes a grudge, then he's just going to raise his prices, and I don't want that. Oh, yeah, see, I can't even do it. All right. We'll have to get a fight through some other means or uh, wait for the shop to respawn items. I love the emphasis she put on horrible there. You told us to go on ahead. Hey kid, did you hear all that snoring as we were leaving? Who was that? Do you remember? I was just exhausted, that's all. Which is your fault for making me do all the work around here. You'll sleep your entire life away, cow. Do you guys always act like this? Yes. It's how we show we care. Must be pretty tough. Hi, Pen. <laughs> How fun! Hey, you guys are gonna play with me, right? Yo, who's the brat? Random kid out of nowhere. Oh, um, I found him a ways back. It seemed dangerous, so I didn't Oh, right. Danette just picked up a kid. Danger. What's wrong with you? It's even more dangerous here. Don't worry about it. Did you forget that we're about to go to war? She is not a smart woman. War? Don't waste your breath, pal. Nothing between her ears but the wind. 
Well, how the heck was I supposed to know? Nobody told me about any war. So then, who are we supposed to be fighting? Your mom. The Nerids. <gasps> the Nerids? Really? Yep. We're supposed to clear the Nerids out of here. We don't have a lot of people, so I think we're gonna try a surprise attack. Ooh. Hey, hey, you got some time, right? Why not play with me a while? I'm gonna run away, and you guys try and catch me. Fucking pen. Hey, don't go that way. Didn't you hear the part about us and war? <laughs> catch me if you can. Uh, so yeah, Levin is also not very smart. Hey, hold on! Just let him go. He'll leave us alone if we ignore him. God. Commence battle. Alright. Random battle. Don't mind me just closing all that room. Feel free to throw yourself at me. I know you want to. There you go. You might even live through this one. Ooh, look at that heavy damage. We're screwed. This game, it's not very hard, like the story. There are a few fights that, like, I'm actually gonna have to try for. Um, and we'll kind of notice that spike as we go, but for now, you really can just, like, bulldoze through a good chunk of the game. It's more about the story at that point. Uh, once you start getting into uh, the demon route, the demon path has some really tough fights. It won't be tough for us at that point, because, you know, we're going to break the game. I might, for cinematic, I might not break the game until we've done the demon path, just so they're actually hard. Because otherwise, you know, that's more about the story, too. But I do also really just enjoy this style of combat. Battle begins. The secret fights in this game are actually going to be hard. Maybe we'll only slightly break the game. I don't know. We'll see as we go. Ooh, look at us. We're damn near surrounded. I mean, we're not surrounded. But we're going to pretend we are. Have fun, fellas. Battle begins. Ooh, nice crit. One hundred and ninety six damage. Whoop. Sorry, I'm all tapping over the stream labs for a second, might have messed with things. Huh? What are you doing here? You'll pay for what you did. Townsfolk out for blood have appeared. Oh, that's that grudge! Okay, so that does actually matter. Nice. I've never used the kick command, uh, only ever, uh, fight or rob or something. So, that's interesting. We basically created an extra enemy for ourselves. Extra XP! I'm down. I gotta kick more people in the face more often. Was that the third one? Nope, one more. Ooh. 
I like the landscapes for these battles. Nice 3D. More pseudo 3D. I don't really know what that would be called. Level up! Do it? Okay! There. Hello there! Let me show you my iron wheel, baby! Battle begins. <laughs> now, the reason we have a bit of damage there, as you can see, is because we leveled up. Uh, this is not one of those games where leveling up, uh, like, fully heals you or anything. But, we've got our cleric there, so it's no big deal. Honestly, squad layouts that don't have a healer are just stupid. I mean, there's specific uses. You could have like a kamikaze squad or like a... There's no, um... There's only one flying healer. So it might be hard to like get a, a healer if you're doing a flying squad, for example. Ow, don't pick on Gearless Joe, bro. Oh, and you can see why I like the Archer in the mid lane. It's like the, the Pyromage's Firewall. It's a good lane clear. Row clear? Lane clear? Row clear. I think the other way is the lane. Battle begins. Okay. I love the music in this game. Ooh, you know, if one of them doesn't uh, impale themselves here, we might be able to get a demon force off. Except these three have literally all impaled themselves. Relying on uh, this one not impaling themselves. So we're going to maybe do this. Ooh, actually. No, no, you're gonna die. Battle begins. We're actually going pretty low on stamina here. See how it's in the yellow? Uh, our stats are going to start going down if they haven't already, and once it hits red, we're basically in a critical range. Battle begins. Oh nice, we got the demon blast off. I wasn't sure we would. Still doing shit all for damage. But 
hopefully it should be a kill. Unsure. decent damage so if we do like 70 something like it's been doing should be a kill 66 yeah baby oh we didn't we didn't kill the guy in the front I missed that poor dude just had to run away um who was left invisible guy oh yeah bandit okay and you're all in a lane so you all die I mean maybe Wow they lived Impressive. Oh, it's cause it's cause we're so tired. Look at our stamina. Holy shit. Uh I should have done a demon blast on the off chance. That's fine. This should be a kill on their group. I mean look at how much health the leader has. Yeah, like I say, you gotta watch your stamina. I mean, we get a full kill? Yeah, no survivors except for that one guy who ran away, but we don't talk about him. Results. Cool. Pop a save. Ooh, what did I just do? Oh, recon. Oh, yeah. Next battle is just going to be a defeat half of. Because turns out they don't like dying. That's Juno. She is the leader of the Nereids. Not the leader. You, you'll, you'll all see what I mean. Uh, I don't know why we're doing a recon. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, uh, we don't use Sinner Cell. That one sucks. Okay, anything new? Did he restock? Yeah, okay, they restocked. So hopefully there's a fight. Uh, these are the Cherubs, by the way, the race I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is the healer version. They also have guns. Because, you know, who doesn't love angels with guns? Especially not fully automatic assault hunting rifle things. You'll see what I mean. Uh, okay, what do we- oh, we got the fight. So now we can go beat up the merchant here. I should save. <sighs> okay. Now, it's just a bunch of bandits, and I don't think bandits even do anything in the back row. So it's just those three that we have to deal with. Battle begins. Apparently, defeating a max rate merchant unlocks something special. I'd love to see it. Like I say, it always soft locked on the, um, the PS2 version. I don't even know if there is a max rank. I think uh, I get up to about 12 or 13 before it's just always gods. And apparently killing a god breaks the game. Who'd have thunk? Yeah, good. See? Easy kill. We'll probably be able to get up to about rank 3-ish. Beat the bourgeoisie merchant. A new temp was hired. All right, uh, level one stuff. Now we actually get start getting some interesting decor. Cannot move, but GP up by 100%. Those are the kind of stuff you can use to break the game, but for now, I want these last charges. The graceful form. And that's enough to beat them up again, so let's beat them up again. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna really go after me, party of healers. Oh, 
Oh no. Guys, they're healing at me. Oh no. New room unlocked once you beat one, and max rank is Merchant God. That makes sense. That's about in line with this game. This one might actually hurt, if we can even max it out again. Bare Knuckle, we want that one. Uh, stamina Increases, we want that one. Get another last charge, graceful form, flexible form. Those buff the front, middle, and back lanes, respectively. Uh, don't use Grid of Man too much. We're almost maxed out. Oh yeah, ZOC is the, um, the Grid thing where you can't move past. It's, it literally never matters. Yeah, that's fine. We'll let it be like that for now. Let's go beat up the Gig Edict one a little bit. We have two more fights, though hopefully we should get more by knocking this one down. right, little bud. You're safe. You got this. Now we can get, we'll get some more of the stamina boosting ones, because those actually get used, but that's probably too many. You only really need like two or three of a thing, except for the fights. You want lots of those. Also, oh yeah, um, there's a mechanic in this game. Like I say, this game has a lot of really weird and oddly specific things you can do. Um, but like, I'll get to those kidnaps in a sec. These, oh, there's no, okay, there's... There's these guys where you can steal items, which is neat, but with Kidnap, you can basically, like, forcibly recruit an enemy squad, but it doesn't have a very high chance of working, and you only get, like, certain units. Uh, there's another one you can do called Separate, where you can, like, literally... Like, literally divide your squad into two squads? It's so weird, I've never, like, made use of the mechanic, because there's no reason to. But like I say, this game has a lot of, like, just weird as fuck mechanics you can just do if you want to. Anyways, let's pop a save. We got about half an hour left. Does a hero man come in when you try to kidnap a child? I don't know, but I want to try now. I, I gotta know. Probably not. I don't think you can use kidnap on NPCs. Uh, but I want to know. Oh wait, do we even have a kidnap? I might need to go buy one. Nope, I don't have a kidnap. Might be able to take on Hero Man though. So if we can't kidnap the child, we'll at least try and beat up the child. Uh, oh, uh, no, Gig Edict. Bye. Kidnap. Or a poor defenseless poster, correct. So first... Oh, the kid's gone. Oh yeah, uh... There's a lot of things that move around as the game goes. All these are new. The poster's still there. We'll read dialogue later. Probably next stream we'll start with that. Uh, the child's gone though, which is very frustrating. The poster's still there. The granny fought us, so she won't summon Hero Man. I guess let's just see if we can even use Kidnap. Oh my god, we can. Let's kidnap the warehouse owner. 
Warehouse owner did not submit yet. Cannot join the design? Oh, yeah, yeah, because you have to have an empty spot in your squad. Ugh, okay, we'll test that another time. But yeah, I guess you can just kidnap... I guess if you tried to do it on the child, who summons Hero Man if you fight him, you would probably get Hero Man, but I don't... I don't know if you could, um... If you could recruit him. Granny? I don't recall seeing that name. You can only kidnap subs, lol. Hi, Freya. Alright, well, let's go try beating up the poster again. Um, alright, yeah, let's go try and beat up the poster again. Let's see if we can take on Hero Man. We're That's slightly stronger than we were! There. We're not gonna be able to beat up Hero Man. Maybe if we get lucky with some crits. No, no, we're not taking Hero Man. We need more levels. All we can do is sit here and watch our death. It's great. That jock strap. <laughs> Shh! Don't you talk about Hero Man's jock strap! It's part of his costume, okay? Goodbye, Hilda! You held out till the end! Alright. Let's go beat up some Nerids. Nerids. You chase after the boy and get lost along the winding shore. Who are you? Are you the ones trying to steal our treasure? Have you no shame? Chasing after a defenseless child like that. <laughs> yeah. Reminder you, that the Nerids are an all-female race. Single strap in the back makes it a thong? Fair enough, Ruffer. I guess it's a thong. Midriff. We're not in the business of kidnapping brats, lady. In fact, you can think of us as Nerid exterminators. Exterminators? And you were hired by those royal monkeys, I suppose? Hey, you can't use that word. Right. Well, who cares who sent you? It's clear you oh, I, I, I hit a dialogue. Uh, not exactly is what we said. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. Right now, our muscle is your worst nightmare. Is that supposed to frighten me? You yes. You have thick skulls indeed to challenge us with such a Well, yes, force. two of them are literally cow people. They have very thick skulls. Me. I also house a god in my body, so you know. Half bravado, half truth, yes, my lady. Defeat half of enemy force. That's always so disappointing to me because the bloodthirsty part of me just wants to annihilate every unit on the battlefield, and only being able to take out half is just like, oh, no survivors. Max XP, bro! Yeah. Anyways, fling yourselves on my sword, please.
<laughs> nice, level up. How many are there? There's three, six, seven. So we need to defeat four things. You felt the need to use a field tactic, so you're probably going to get to live, because I want to take out Juno. Uh, so we've already taken out one, so if we go here... Yeah. Smells like fish. Yeah, 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 I could, I could see that. Very, very salty smell in this uh, area with the fish people. Oh yeah, too late for you to try and catch up now. You almost made it. Oh, I could have moved one tile less. That's fine. So our magic's gonna hit less and we're going to be a little less accurate. That's actually kind of annoying. Sure. Battle begins. Although I'm glad the, she didn't reduce our our speed. Our act. Oh hey, we're gonna get the demon blast off. It might miss though. Well, and it seems Gearless Joe is unable to take out someone on his own. Oh, nice! We're actually doing damage with every hit of Demon Blast now. That, that does show that we've gotten stronger. As you see, most of the hits of Demon Blast have three values. A uh, hard hit, a medium hit, and a light hit. For us right now, those are seven, three, and one, respectively. And then the final hit is usually just the actual bulk of the damage. 90. I always like seeing the um, those three subsets of numbers go up, though, as you get stronger. You know, it becomes like 54, 26, and 9 for, the, for those three, right? Which is... It's just interesting. So we've taken out two. There are five left. We can take out two more. I'm coming for you, Juno. Good. Oh, she coming to me. She even said good. No special dialogue, unfortunately. Ooh, heavy damage, not gonna lie. Ooh, they took out a dude! First party member death of the campaign was Gearless Joe. That actually kind of works in context. Normally it's my, uh, the Fire Mage, because they usually have, like, really low defense and health, so they go down to the slightest love tap. Uh, but it was Gearless Joe this time. Good for him. He deserves that honor. The recognition. Once I have access to Gideon's, my final party layout is usually main character, um... I don't put any Gideon's in the front row with her, do I? No, because I don't fill the whole party with Gideon's, that's boring and, and kind of redundant. But I do throw three in. Who do I put in the front with her? I guess we'll find out as we go. Battle begins. Depending on who Sarah targets here... Yep, went after the leader. Okay, we're good. Otherwise, yeah, that wouldn't have been a, a kill there. And as long as we get to move next and they don't get to impale themselves on my sword, we can take out Juno. Yay, we can take out Juno. Demon Blast is redundant, but we're gonna do it anyway. Oh, oh, maybe we actually get to see it go off? Nah, we're done. Well, that was enough for a level up. Battle results. <laughs> Come on, that was too easy. They're too strong. 
<laughs> what interest do you outsiders have in our affairs? This is between us and them, you understand? It doesn't concern you. Everything concerns us. Why would you get in our way? Wait, what? They're trying to kill the world thingy too? I love how she always gets world, but not eater. World thingy. Maybe these people aren't our enemies. Everyone, retreat! We must regather our forces. Get dunked on, ladies! Bye, Eleven. Eleven, do not push ahead too far. Archers! Oh yeah, Eleven can cross the entire world map in one move, or in one uh, in one cutscene, basically. That was close. He's a very fast man. Hey, they're getting away! Damn it! What was that all about? The hell was it? Damn mysterious archers! Get the drop on us. We were supposed to ambush them. God, you're friggin' dumb. Must run in your stupid cow blood. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> oh, did that never change? You know what I'm talking about, right? Mm hmm I think it was that kid. What? You think that sweet harmless? You mean the really annoying bratty little shit? Yes. But Jeez, I wonder what a race of all females would want with a young boy as he grows up. Wow, I'm shocked. You actually remembered a whole fact. Yeah. Quiet, you. I remember all kinds of stuff. But no, the kid isn't a Naren. But if that thick-headed jerk hadn't chased after him, we wouldn't have been caught. Pretty much. Moron. You yeah, you owe woe, Kaiser. You know what's up. Stupid this morning. That is why he is their treasure. He has a point. Levin, how many times have I told you not to act before thinking? Huh? Holy crap, I didn't even see you there! Yeah, Vitaly sneaking up on people by simply existing is a running meme. Who cares? Let it go. Stop living in the past. We gotta figure out what to do now. We can't go into the ocean, but we can probably catch up to their reinforcements. With my speed, there's no way they'll get away from us. Oh yeah, I was always really good at. Oh, oh, really sure. good at running, she said. We'll be right behind you. We should head back. What? The entire party. What? We should return I don't think what their treasure is Christoph. has ever been specified yet. Yeah, yeah, they, they kind of beat you over the head with it. M minor spoilers, but it's okay, trust me. <laughs> it's okay. They alluded to it. Alright, uh, back to Raid. Did we unlock anything? Just a new room. How are we doing on locks? We only have two locks. Yeah, I don't care about Danette's room. It kind of sucks, and... Probably not going to summon her at all. I'm gonna lock Levens because I actually might summon that one. And then I want to see if we have access to a six man. You'll find I do these checks often. I want a nine man as soon as physically possible. I yearn for a complete squad! Yeah, no, no six mans yet. Gotta progress further. That's fine. I'm not going to bother rebuilding the net squad. Nobody cares! You return to Kristoff to report your situation. Roughly half their force escaped unharmed. Oh, that's fine. I had no intention of exterminating them all. Was that really the right thing to do? What do you mean? Of course it was. They were a threat. Anyway, thanks for your help. We couldn't have done it without you. And now, for your reward. Oh, and I've also prepared a little parting gift. Ooh, hot pods! Hot pods! Come to pay Gramps! You're an alright guy. Don't just scarf them down. You have to savor them. 
And you, stupid cow, don't go getting any ideas. These are all mine. If you so much as touch them, you'll wake up with one less tongue. What? That's not fair! I want some too! So the race that just it nukes everything is equivalent to the Skya Majin in terms of general utility? Basically. Ba I assume you're referring to the Gideons. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you forget. I'm... <laughs> you're pretty slick for an old guy. Anyway, my point is, when I found out, I was deeply moved. I didn't think there was anyone in this day and age who would have the courage to attempt the impossible. It would be my honor to assist you and help in any way possible. <laughs> I can't blame you for your suspicion. You think I want you to get devoured? I'm crafty, yes, but I'm not devious. It's quite simple. My town and its business would greatly benefit from the removal of that monstrosity. Let me think. What would be a proper sign of good faith? Ah, to prove that I'm serious, how about I let you keep the servants you took with you? Yeah, he lets us keep <laughs> Levin and uh, Vitaly. Basically, they're their main party members for the whole game. Now hold on just a damn minute. You said this was temporary. Now you're telling me I gotta leave my home and go traipsing around with these goons? And you're asking me to leave my sister behind. Good old Siscon man cow. Don't you worry about that. I'll make sure Euphoria is well looked after. Let wouldn't you say Euphoria it's flashbacks. to eliminate whatever danger fucked up game man. Home. Your talents are much better spent with them than sitting around here worrying after He is actually pretty useful. One of his uh, field abilities is it raise his act by 50% and he can use that 3 times in a battle. No, it's 80%. So he can just like literally cross the map in one turn. He's useful for that. Can force me to abandon her now? That's just just Calm down. Has she not grown stronger recently? You must stop using her as an excuse and venture out into the world. But, but no buts. Hold on just a sec, Gramps. You haven't even said yes. Why the hell would I take this two cent chump with me? Hey, at least he thinks I mean, you're two at least cents. If he wasn't such a yellow belly coward who wets himself in his own shadow, I'd think about it. Yeah, he's just some baby brother who can't even leave his sister's side. Definitely has Savage. Some sort of complex. Hey, I ain't no two cent chump. I don't have a complex, and I sure do have a complex, no though. In fact, I'm the best martial artist in all of Aztec. Oh, yeah, I guess bare knuckles are supposed to be martial artists. Which, I mean, Watch yeah. I but they feel more like boxers to me. Hence why, you know, Gearless Joe. I am back! Where are the babies? Hey, cop! No babies, except for the one that was in the mysterious dream. Would you still feel this way even if your sister wanted you to go? What? What are you talking about? She wants you to go and see the world beyond the castle gates. And yes, we do actually meet even his sister, just not not during this stream, we won't. You to experience what the world has to offer. Euphoria is great. You know what I think? You're just trying to pawn off this useless sack of cow crap onto us. I mean, I don't blame you. It really reeks. I'm serious, <laughs> take a whiff, it's awful. So mean. <laughs> no, that's really not good. We enjoy having him. Things are much more lively when he's around. Notice the pause before he says lively. Uh -huh. Just the slightest so you're pause. Not just trying to get rid of your bedwetting, sister-loving, retarded bag of manure? Sure. I think he stopped listening. Well, for real? Well, she really said that? But why? Sis, give it fine. I'll go. I'm freaking 
gone. You happy now? But I'm telling you right now, you gotta take care of her. Promise me. Of course, I promise. Damn. Guess I better get used to the smell. Time to cancel Gig. No, don't cancel Gig. Gig, he's the Grim Reaper. What was it he said in the beginning? Mountains of flesh, rivers of blood? Another earthquake. They seem to be coming more frequent. Earthquake of foreshadowing. Woo! They say it's the cry of the world. I see. I just assumed it was the world eater tossing in its sleep. Well, they don't sleep, <laughs> bud. They are constantly the alert. Master Christoph. Whisper, whisper. Hmm. This should be of great interest to you, I think. The world eater has awakened. Where's the manchild brother? He ran away. Will you go to it? We'll leave immediately. Alright, that's the spirit. The sooner the better, I say. You fool! We can't go out like this! We have to eat more hot pods first! Gig wants more food! Ugh. Is that all you think about? See, you can hear crunching sounds. I thought they were like maybe apples ish, but uh, it could be more like potatoes. And it was she just ate all the hot pods, and Giga's probably gonna murder her. The real question was why the world eater wake awakened is whisper material. Yeah, pretty much, Ned. Hyper offended, Gig is hyper offended. Okay. Uh, do, 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 save. Okay, and then. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Oh, hey. This guy? This is where we're gonna end for tonight, so we're done. But, uh, I'm just gonna leave you with a little teaser of this guy. Ooh, who is he? I'll give you an even further teaser, and I'll say that, remember when I mentioned that there was a second character who was from another NIS game, that they're now in this one, and it's, they just have a different name, and like, it, it's never really brought up, but it's a thing that's true? It's this guy. <laughs> I'll leave you with that little teaser for next time. Just gonna save once more. Boop! And we are good. Thanks for the stream, Shadow. Happy weekend all. Hey, thanks for coming, Ruffer. It was nice having you. I hope you all have a good rest of your evening. I'll see some of you tomorrow for Common Rider, and otherwise. Oh, oh, and reminder. Sorry, guys, reminder. Um. Before you all go, I'm just pulling up the calendar really quick. I know I mentioned this in the Discord, but not everyone is in the Discord. Ugh, calendar, why you do? There we go. So next Friday is Christmas Eve. Obviously, there will be no stream then. Um, I'll be trying to maybe do a stream on the 21st or the 23rd, which is the Tuesday or the Thursday. Uh, so stay tuned for that. More updates to come. If you're not in the Discord, just, you know, keep an eye on the stream schedule. And there will be a stream New Year's Eve. So, have a look out for that. Otherwise, once again, have a good evening, everyone. <laughs>